This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. When buying or selling your home, call Leo Bato. He has years of experience in real estate, showing honesty and integrity in every transaction. He's a person you can definitely trust. So book your appointment with Leo Bato today by giving him a call at 818-648-4837 or by visiting him on the web at www.leobato.realtor. This episode is brought to you by Binalot, Los Angeles. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, finally talaga. Maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa. Miss Jessa Saragosa and Mr. Ding Dong Avanzado! Hey! Hello! Wow. Thank Grabe, you. parang years yata ito eh. <laughs> Oo naman. Oo, bago na tuloy. Finally, <laughs> nandito na kami sa Paco's place. Hindi lang yun. Eh. Hindi ko napapakita, nag-text pa ako kay Dong. Eh. Nag-text pa ako siya, Ding oh, Dong, di ba? Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, oh, oh. Tapos si Henry, nakita ko may show nga kayo. Henry Chen, Monica Chen. Hi, Hen. Shout out! <laughs> Tapos, and, and now you guys are finally here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It. Thank you for having us. Really. And uh, maliban doon, is pang shout out, Robbie Tarosa. Oh. Hey, Bob. Bob. Hello, Bob. Lang iya ka. Finally. Miss you. Kasi si Robbie, sabi ni Robbie, uh. ako bahala sa kanila. Bago sila magpunta ng San Diego, papupuntahin ko sila rito. <laughs> 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 Hindi ko pa nga nakakausap oh, eh, sa sobrang jet lag. Mas nauna ka pa namin nakita bago si oh, Bob. Oh. Pero the last time naman, ako yung na out of place. Lahat kayo magkakasama. Nakita ko na lang yung picture. Parang, <laughs> Talaga ba? No, Kasama niyo sina, na. sina Kathy Levy, sina Robby Tarosa. Wow. Sabi ko, oh my God, alam ko kung saan pupunta tong usapan na to wala ako dito. <laughs> Pero nakakatuwa. Now, ang nakakatuwa sa inyong dalawa, pare-pareho tayo ng story. We had a nice career in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Tapos bigla tayong nawala sa Pilipinas. And then, <laughs> we all tried our luck here in the States. Ang nakakatawa rito is, there are people who think they have it bad in the States because bago pa lang sila. Abogado sila sa Pilipinas, dentista sila sa Pilipinas, hindi ko namang ginagawa to sa Pilipinas. But we all have story. I don't know what yours is and yours, but I do want to know what it is because you came here as a family na ba or kayong dalawa pa lang? Noong time na yun, uh, that was 2006, we came as a family. And... Um, not many people really know the reason that we moved here you know, at that time. And it was really, um, before I answer yung question yung about yung pagdating mo dito, di ba, yung adjustment and all. Uh, we Prior to that kasi, nag-tour kami ni Jessa. It was back in 2004. And we met um, our lawyer who's our dear friend, si Attorney Jamela Nettles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah si Jem, he was the one na who approached us and talked about having that opportunity. Uh, the, pwede, ano, ah, sorry, meron ba, ano, okay lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pinag-usapan namin yung possibility of uh, moving here and and doing something, di ba? And so wait, you were here for a show and then yeah. you, you you exercised sure. all your options. Sure. Yeah. yeah, and then sabi niya, uh, you want, I can ano, help you ano, secure that na makakuha kami ng alien with extraordinary ability. ability. Uh, EB1. Yeah, yeah EB1. Man. So, that's when it started. Pinag-usapan namin, uh, you know, why not? We have nothing to lose. Tingnan natin. And, and na-approve kami. So, syempre, if a few months lang yun, eh, uh, di ba? Well, kasi nung sa amin, you can get it a few months if nandito ka nagsistay. Okay, Parang okay. Ganun. Hindi ka uuwi straight. If kami, we couldn't afford that because we still had uh, commitments. commitments in the Philippines. Sabi namin, we'll just file it. And then if, if matuloy, then, then so be it, diba? Right. E na-approve nga kami. Woo! So nung nakuha namin yun, say ko, um, we're thinking, this might be a sign. Tsaka sayang naman, ano? let's let's try it out. And let's live a life on tour. That was really the whole idea of us staying, I mean, living here because we wanted to go tour the US. Kaming dalawa. Both together and solo. Kasi, so yun, music pa rin talaga yung nasa isip oh, nyo. Oh. Trabaho, yun, pa, trabaho rin pa rin talaga. Yeah. Ding Dong and Jessa 
are yes, we're real cu- life couples, but we're still individuals as artists. Yes. So and we felt like this was one way of reaching out to our kababayans here. Yes. And uh, kala nila when na pumunta sila dito na because wala nang career sa Philippines. Actually, hindi. It wasn't. In fact, we had our career. We had just released an album there. But we wanted... Kasi we always view things like, bakit tayo nagkaroon ng ganito? You know? Um, uh, like bakit yung, na-approve? Bakit na-approve? Oo. So is this a sign from God? And, Amen. At, and then we were looking at that at sabi namin, uh, baka tayo hindi natin kailangan kasi okay naman tayo na dito sa Philippines. Pero baka naman si Jada... Amen ulit. And Jada was that, at that time, was what? Three years old? Barely three years old. Really? Oh. Ako. Because so, sabi namin, let's, let's see how it pans out. No? Let's give it a year or two. And, and kung ano man, at least makita na rin natin ng life sa Amerika. So, that's how our story started. And then, we decided to move. Ang unang lugar na, na tinira namin talaga was Vallejo in Northern California because my relatives were there. Okay, so at least may may kahit pa paano may cushion, di ba? Kahit pa paano mm. andun, may, may support malapit, group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tama yung sinasabi ni Jess, yung support group is the one that's really important. Amen. When you're moving to a place, no, and then that's what yung kanina question mo, yung mga tao na nagsasabi na ang hirap talaga sa umpisa because meron ka na kasanayang buhay. Ah, uh, the number one biggest help for that is you build yourself a good support group. Wherever you move, no, that's very important. Kasi yung iba, punta lang tayo doon, tas bahala na. But even if ganun yun, wala kang kilala, you have to be able to reach out and yeah. build that ano, yes. group of friends mo. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened to us. Of course, we started with family. But then we built a strong support group. Which lasted... Nakak- yeah, nakakapalakas loob yun eh. To. At saka, yun ang nangyari. Uh, over the years, that's why we were able to manage our careers na kahit na sa Philippines kami, nakabumabalik kami. Kasi ever since after that, we lived here like two straight years. Wow. Straight. And then after that, bumalik kami doon. But every year, we would have to be going back because of yeah. our status. Yes. Diba? And uh, because of our su- strong support group here, na-manage namin na gawin yun. And Talagang sobrang appreciative namin sa mga kaibigan na na-built namin. We first lived nga, like I said, sa Northern California. And those peop- the, the support group there help, helped us uh, cope in lifestyle sa Amerika. And maka-survive, maka-survive sa changes. Mo, yes, na alam mo hindi ka nag-iisa, oh, di ba? Oh. Isa pa yun na, well, kasi sa, sabi ko nga, kanya-kanya naman talaga ng, ng uh, storya, di ba? Sabi right. mo nga. Uh, sa amin, in, in our case, Uh, what brought us here was yung, yung music. And, but then again, syempre hindi naman kami everyday nagsushow, di ba? Pero yung, yung community, yung, when you race, uh, are you racing or you yes. have a family, importante yung mga people that you surround yourself with. Eh. And for us, um, we were blessed with that you know, from, from our family and the friends that we made all throughout. And, uh, you know, na manage namin yon and kaya nga pag tinatanong like si Jada uh, since every year nandito kami parang lumaki na rin siya sa Amerika actually yeah. lumaki na siya sa Amerika oh tsaka talaga. mas marami siyang birthdays dito, dito sa Amerika kaysa sa Pilipinas di ba mm-hmm. and uh, that's how we were able to manage our life but of course nung syempre two years lang yan nung, nung time na yun, yung management namin sa Philippines after two years sabi na sa amin ano yung ginagano? Ano yan? Hindi. Makati lang yung mata ko. Kakala ko sa para ko may muta ako eh. Hindi. Um, sabi niya. Sabi niya. <laughs> ang sabi niya. Ano tabi? Kailangan lang bumalik kayo dito kasi so, two years na eh. Yun na nga, sa, yun na nga eh. Oh. I was gonna go there also. So, we will realize it. Siyempre pag, ka, out, pag wala ka, mahirap yung ano. Yung, siyempre may mga dumadating. May yeah. ano. But, ano naman kami? Um, how would you call it? Medyo, hindi naman, kami ni, kami ni Jessa, we were never insecure about our position in the You have your place. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll say it na. You have your place, uh, Jessa. You have your place, Ding Dong. As in, hindi na kayo pwedeng buwagin eh. May darating, <laughs> hindi kayo pwedeng buwagin eh. You've, you've earned your keep. You've paid your dues. It is what it is. You're, you guys are 
icons. Thank you. Um, but Thank you. Pero isisingit ko lang din, ano, dadagdag ko lang. Hindi kami, ano, kami, uh, well, sa career yan, no? pero sa personal na buhay namin, bilang mag-asawa, secured kami sa isa't isa. Amen. Yung posisyon namin. Yeah. I mean, pilot, co-pilot, Pareho importante. Ang ganda na sinabi mo. <laughs> ang ganda na sinabi mo. Kami naman ng wife ko, if I may share, pilot, siya navigator. So people go, okay, so ano yung sabihin nun? Ang huling desisyon ako, ako yung lalaki eh. And, ano, so para mong dinedemine yung misis mo, hindi Siya ang nagsasabi sa akin ng ito ang choices. Mm-hmm. So si Jaja ang nagpe-prepare ng choices ko which malamang inisip na niya, di ba? So, doon lang ako sa parameter na yun. <laughs> Nag-work. It makes, Nag-work. It makes it easy for you because you, you have two you have limited choices. Yes. Pero ang nakadyo niya, para pareho lang sa yeah. pilot, co-pilot, oh. pilot, navigator. So, pag hindi ako sumunod, recalculating. <laughs> 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 di ba? So, yung yeah. sabihin, baby, pagpasensyahan mo ko. Parang ganun. Ang tanong ko, you were pitching it to, he, to her. Life in America, you were pitching it to her. That time, of course, na, yeah. Because it was given, sabi ko nga, binigay, green hand sa amin. Yes. Hindi naman lahat na bibigyan nito. Remember, sabi pa nga ni Attorney Jem, this is a privilege. That, it uh, is a privilege, uh, so, yeah. So, you know, you have to understand. And we do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, the, it, and it's not it's it's not easy, especially yeah. if you're living two lives, you know. Um, mm. But sabi nga namin, the type of work that we do, since we're entertainers, Um, marami namang ganun eh na, na nabubuhay sila. Like, example, even the international artist. Yes. Diba? They live a life, they live in UK, yeah. they perform here, yep. or they live other parts yes. of the world, diba? But then, diba, nag- nakakatrabaho sila dun. Eh, parang ganun yung ano namin, status namin eh. So, bakit di natin... Gamitin. Oo. Oh, uh, take advantage mm-hmm. or maximize. That's the... Yun yung purpose nun. Hindi namin sinayang yung binigay sa amin na, na blessing. That's why hanggang ngayon, you know, nagbe-benefit. And now, fast forward to um, 15 years after, kasi three lang si Jada. No? Si Jada magbe-benefit niyan. Yes! Because now with Jada's music, na hindi naman namin alam na ibibless pala siya ni, ni God, na, God ng ganyang klaseng mm-hmm. gift, na pwede niya magagamit niya ngayon ito. ba? Diba? And we're so thankful for that. And, and you know, You know, this is also our chance. We want to say thank you to those people that have allowed us to really have this kind of life and helped Amen. us talagang adjust in the life in America. You know, it starts with, sina, of course, nag-umpin dyan, sila Tito Rafi, Reyes, you know, sa Valeo yan, sina Tita Lolit, sina Galing, Tito, no? Lolit and Francis Lisboa. They were our family in sa, sa San Francisco. Shout out nga pala. Yeah. What people don't understand is, People in the states have lives to live, mm-hmm. and when they help out, that's an effort. Hindi hindi o oh, pakitulungan si kanto si hindi yeah. sila mismo ang tumutulong get out of their way to help people like us. Pagdating natin dito, eh. actually, actually may bigat yun. Actually, may bigat yun. Ako, mm-hmm. Marami pa yan eh. like sa sa Vallejo. This marami is your episode, ha? so yeah, wala tayong time limit. Hindi, kaya. I just want to make mention to those Please. people like si na Rodlin Sangan, si Hazel, si Inday. Uh, sal, ano, Salgado ba? Sorry. Salgado, sila Kuya D. Di ba? And, and all, I, I, mean, may, I may forget some people there, but when he started out, for the longest time, si Judy and si Dante, mm-hmm. these became our family. Lumaki yung, lumawak Galing. yung family namin. Tatlo lang kami, pero sila lahat, they contributed to our growth. And then, syempre that time, bata pa si Jada, so, hindi namin alam na doon kami papunta. But then the time came, <laughs> Jada was uh, growing up na and then she was exhibiting this talent. Sabi natin, hindi naman pang valyeho to. That ang entertainment industry na dito, dito sa, sa LA. Angeles, yeah. So we had to move and we didn't know. Talagang alam mo, Paco, it's really uh, by God's design. Amen. And, and we go by faith. Right? Yes. And he, and he is honored that in God's faithfulness, grabe, pagdating naman namin dito, na-meet namin, sila Mendre, di ba? And si Ses Il- yeah. Lilin. Shout out to you, Tito yeah, Mendre. Yeah. Hi, Men- Ses. Hi, Mendre, Cecil. And then we met Henry and Monica Chen. Yes. Who are now our family here in yes. Burbank, California. And and it grew. Ganun yun eh. Imagine mo, 
Ang iniisip namin yun. Ano, ano kaya tayo na si Jada yung career eh, ano Hollywood or papunta doon. So where are we gonna stay? We didn't even know na Henry Chen, we would meet somebody like Henry Chen. Amen. Who lives in Burbank. Who's in the entertainment. In the, yeah, at, at in, the heart of it. Uh, yes. And then if you look at it, this is like, kinikilabutan nga ako pag kinikwento ko. Ako Kasi, kinikilabutan nga ako. If you connect the dots and you'll see talaga how God works, di ba? At that time, di mo naman alam yun. You know, Henry's house is only seven minutes away from the studio where Jada's working now for her music here. That's as clear as daylight that you know God's hand yes. how he works. Pinadali. Pinadali lang. <laughs> no, no, no. And, what a commute. I know. <laughs> and, and, and all those things. I, I can't even begin. Siguro kukulangin yung episode, yung podcast natin. But those things, when you put it all together, you will see um, how how really God works and how He connects people and He puts people in your lives. Diba? Eh, na ano lang ako kasi, oh, naalala ko pa si Tito Oscar, Tito Oka, Ocampo. Yun. Sab, sab, Balye ko rin siya, yeah. Oo, oh, yun. Ano yun? Mga, who would think yun si, si Tito Oka? Ano siya? Engineer yun. Pero naging hilig dun sa basketball. Eh, ako, love ko basketball. basketball. Pero nung nalaman na nakatira na kami sa States, went out of his way, nag-reach out sa amin, and sinabi nila, they were their big fans, and then became, was, hindi ko alam, He's one of the richest men in Baleo. <laughs> and, and he was like, talagang, and he became a really, really good friend. And uh, his office is um, very strong, yung Ocampo Esta yes. ano, uh, company, engineering company sila eh. Imagine, and it's a Filipino owned. Ano, owned ah. Nakakatuwa yun. And they're very close to the Lopez's. The, yung tinatayo yung TFC dito, sila yung isa okay. sa mga tumulong sa Lopez is para itayo ang TFC. Yun yung story niya. But he loves, ang passion niya is, is, is basketball. And we became close and they also helped a lot in in our yung pag-move namin dito. And marami pang tao pa ako. And like going back to what I was saying about those people being brought to your lives. and It's just amazing. How it's humbling, no? It's humbling. Very yeah. humbling. Very humbling. Uh, and then you just realize na you know god's faithfulness talaga yeah Ay, ikaw honey i don't know kung anong realization na nangyari sa ako sini share ko sa kanya eh pag uh, in those quiet moments that we have so i could realize how blessed we are and how things unfold and that's how our ano is eh yung uh, i mean we haven't been sharing this we didn't have naman we don't have that I'm, same I'm pensa. actually privileged that you guys are sharing this I can pa kasi sa TV butan. show limited ka sa yeah. sa oras no but sabi mo nga since dito podcast we can go on you we can go on ito yung mga things na ano mo pag na ano namin dalawa as mag-asawa we really do count our blessings eh. Amen. but then we like we like ano yung ito yung mga nakikita mong We like to see how God yeah. is leading us. Yes. Kasi ang prayer namin mag-asawa, lagi. Uh, and this wisdom. is what we taught. We taught Jada. When you ask for something, you ask for wisdom. You don't ask Amen. for the material aspects. Of course, yeah, you like this and all, but always focus on wisdom. Because yan ang talagang God will give you so richly and yeah. generously. At saka exponential yan eh, wisdom. See, si, see, si, King Solomon, yun ang hiningi, yun ang hiningi niya. niya. Eh, he could have anything in the world, pero sabi niya, yep. wisdom. Amen. And always yan na... Oh, para ma-discern mo kung yeah. anong, o, yeah. anong yeah. dapat mong decision. Ano yung totoo. Diba? And you learn to... Ako sa akin din, you know, since when you talk about wisdom, yun din ang hinahanap ko sa isang individual, lalo, or sa isang mamumuno or a leader. No? Yung alam niya kung ano yung, yung discernment niya, paano niya, yung wisdom niya saan nanggagaling. So, Mala- malaking bagay lahat yun eh. No. Sabi nga lang, di ba, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm, di ba? Exactly. Yeah. Kailang, kailangan, kailangan talaga eh. And ang ganda ng context. I'm curious though, he pitched it to you. What was going through your head when Ding Dong was telling you na, honey, here is an opportunity. Kukunin natin to remember, pilot, co-pilot. Of course, may tumatakbo sa utak mo. Nakikita mo yung excitement ng asawa mo. 
Pero what was going through your head? Hindi, noong time na yun, pilot pa siya ako. Nag-switch. Huwag siya nag-switch, gano'n. Joke, joke, joke. Siyempre, noong una, parang, huh? Right? This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates. Ang realtor na pato. Pero yung, yung isang word na yun, isang buong paragraph yun eh. Mm-hmm. Pakatakot siya. Tapos baby pa si Jade. Eh. Tapos isip mo yung life sa Amerika. Kaya ko ba yun? Mm. Pero... No helper, no no house help, no driver, no... Sabi ko nga, I'm a strong woman. And... Yes, you are. Yep. I am a strong woman because kaya ko mag-submit sa asawa ko because I trusted him to lead our family. Yung may, may hand clap yun ha. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? Kaya ako sinasabi at may hand hindi clap. Ako kasi, at hindi ako kasi... Hindi ako strong woman ako kasi hindi ako insecure sa pagiging yes. babae ko. Yes. Uh, kasi magkaiba kung paano din nasay ng Panginoon ng babae at lalaki. Amen. So malinaw sa akin 'yun. And you know what? Kaya kaya ako mapalakpak. Nothing. I'm not I'm not trying to elbow women. Ha? It's just that based on how you're talking, you love your yeah. wife like like Christ loved the church. Parang ganoon ang dating. You would I would assume you would die for your wife and for your daughter. And yun talaga naman kailangan eh. A husband should be able to lay his life, you know, down, sacrifice his life for his family. Parang ganun yun eh. Eh nakapalit naman nun, kaya ako sinasabing palakpakan tayo because naiintindihan mo na yung submission mo at yung pagsasacrifice mo, they go hand in hand eh. Hindi pwedeng submit! <laughs> Hindi, yung pag-submit naman, hindi naman parang exactly. ano yun. People, Peloso po na submit kahit diba? mali na yung pinapagawa yun, sa'yo. Yun. Para ka naman syunga-syunga na so okay. submit ka lang. So, na. <laughs> so, so yun nga, so now that we've cleared it people, so now, hinga ka muminga ka ng malalim, di ba? Here we go. And then what? Nag-empake na kayo. Eh, totoo na ba ito? Dumabas ang papel, lumabas ang I-140, tapos na yung, ayan na, dumating na. And then what? Eh, syempre, talagang expected yung hirap, no? May mga times pa nga, parang... Sa airport muna tayo, tatlo ah, na kayong babiyari. Ah, diba? Pero syempre, ah, excited din, ah, di ba? Syempre, nandun yung family ni Ding Dong. <laughs> pero talagang may ka ba? Um... A- alam ganun eh alam mo yung changes pero iba rin kapag na-experience mo na mm-hmm. na tipong wow iba pala yung ikaw lahat gagawa did you stay in an apartment na kayo lang kayong tatlo lang no in- actually you know this one pa di what happened then was so ano uh, na-approve na kami but di ba pag na-approve ka you have to fly out six months yeah within six within months within six yeah. months di ba so ang nangyari Nauna ako. Okay. I, I w- bago ko sila sunduin, I had to secure sa kami titira and mm. these things. And um, nung time na yun, and this is another credit yan to my cousins there, si, si Gerard and uh, anong tawag dito? Kasi of course sila Charina, no? Pero wala pa si Charina, hindi pa sila kasali. Pero si Gerard nun. <laughs> Siyempre, ma- I grew up with these. Yung mga pinsan mo, siya yeah. sila nung naghanap na ako ng place sa saan kami magsi-stay sabi nila eh, they're into ano eh uh, yung home loans and all these things sa okay. Leo doon so sabi nila sa akin alam mo eh kuya nila ako eh so sabi pwede no bakit hindi ka na lang ano pagka since kukuha ka na dito ano mag ano tayo kumuha ka na lang ng bahay sabi sa akin Ganon ganon na lang. Oo, oh, parang to sabi ko, syempre yung nasa ano sila eh, nasa pag-facilitate ng loans and all, di ba? Anong year Kaya to? Wala akong credit eh. Ah, uh, 2006. Okay, pa, okay, okay pa. Pa. Bago, <laughs> bago pa gumano <laughs> eh. Oh, oh. Oh, market. Bago kasi, bago nag-crash yung market. Oh, so, they stated the income years. <laughs> Noong 2006, so sabi niya, sabi ko, paano yung wala akong credit? Sabi ko, kakaumpis ako pa lang, bago pa lang. Sabi niya, hindi, ganito ang gawin natin. Ako, meron ako, na-stop. Nauna siya sa akin eh, so nandito na sila. Sosyo tayo. Mas nagre-rent ka, binabayad mo sa ano. Oo oh, nga, no? Doon na lang, hati tayo. So, yes. So, nakatulong yun dahil siyempre, imbis na munta kami milsay, mag-apartment kami, bahay. Yung bahay, kapit-bahay ko sila, magkatabi lang kami. Okay. O, so, bago sila dumating, nasecure ko na yung house. Meron kaming tinahal. Siya may equity yun, no? Hindi <laughs> kinukumpit ko bigla talaga. Eh. Oo. Ganun nung umpisa yun, di ba? So, eto na. So, may bahay. Nakako kami bahay. So, Wait, time out. Oh. So, he bought a house. You were in the Philippines. 
What was going through your head? Totoo na to. <laughs> Naku. Parang hindi na lang to plano o thought. Hala. Jade was uh, three years old. Oo. Three years old. Pero ako, iniisip ko na lang, in-expect ko na na sobrang hirap. Nandun yung sacrifice, ano, pero lagi kong iniisip, this is for Jada. Sarap when you ano, prioritize family, you know? all of a sudden, yung pagod just gets out of the way. Kasi kumpara lang talaga sa amin, okay na naman May kami. Pilipinas, okay oh. na naman kami. Pero syempre, nandito yung opportunity and baka nga magamit niya later on pag malaki na siya at least merong option so, para this, sa kanya. So was this you trying to convince yourself kaya mo sinasabi okay para kay Jada may opportunity kasi oh, ang ganda na sinabi na ni Jess eh, kung para sa amin to ni Ding Dong may Pilipinas naman and all that so but then again you trusted your husband Mm-mm. so ano yung pagdating sa airport iba yung hangin na tanda mo <laughs> This is not your first, um, it was not your first America, pero this was your first America. Does that make sense? Kasi, oh, oh, by the way, speaking of first America, ang unang dating ni Jessa dito sa America, ang nagdala sa kanya dito, ako. Kita mo? <laughs> 2000. Biglaan. <laughs> oh, nako. Controversial pa yun. Uh-huh. Ako, naging ano pa yun. Kasi nung time na yun, uh, feeling nun. Basta. Hindi, feeling nun. Hindi, kasi nangyari nun. Parang, ewan ko ba dito rin. Sabi ko, pupunta ako nun. Susunduin ko yung grandmother ko. Sabi right. ko, ano na, ano, counselor ako dati nun ng Quezon City. Yes! So, nung na-meet ko siya, uh, few months after, we were already going out, no? And then, sabi ko, I'm going to the US. Sabi ko, would you like to join me? Would you like to go? Uh, sabi niya, hindi pa ako nakakabot sa Amerika. So, sabi, eh, busy. At that time, it was, that was oh, Jess's hi. hype. Yeah. So, sabi niya, I'd, I'd love to go. put the mic closer to you. Para. I'd love to go, sabi niya. Kaso lang, sabi niya, I have so many commitments. Sabi niya, of course, I understood. Sabi niya, bale, okay. Uh, I just thought you'd, you'd wanna go. That was around, ano eh, mag-jujun. Mga ayaw, mag-jujun. Um, and then, mga May yun. And then, sabi ko, sige, tuloy na ako. Alis na ako. A week before I was scheduled to leave, biglang, ano sa akin, nag-bringing up niya. Sabi niya, yung bang sa Amerika mo ba, tuloy pa ba yung invitation mo? Uy! Pero kayo na nun? Oo, oh, kami na nun. Okay. No? Parang ano pa rin ba? Na ano ka? Sabi ko, oh, if kung ano ka, sabi ko, eh, papano yun? Papaalam ka pa. Sabi ko, papayaga ka ba ng mami mo? <laughs> sabi ko sa kanya. Mami ko na favorite oh. siya. <laughs> At that time, sus, ang tingin sa akin ng mami niya, eh, ano, Uh, wag na. <laughs> wag na, wag na. Oh, pero, uh, sabi, sabi niya, ano, ako nang bahala. Sabi ko, sigurado ka. Sabi ko, ano ba magsasabi? Alam mo ang ginawa niya? Sabi ko, nakapagpaalam ka na. Oo, oh, nakapag- alam mo kung saan siya nagpaalam sa lola niya. <laughs> Hindi siya nagpaalam oh, sa mami niya. Nagpaalam siya sa lola niya. <laughs> sabi niya, okay na. Uy, teka muna. Kaya oh. linawin ko lang. Ha. Alam mo yung mga bagay yes. na ganun? Biglaan yun, pero ako sigurista akong tao. Kalkulado ko yun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nasa oh. tamang proseso okay. yun. So sabi ko, sigurado ka. With oh. respect pa rin. Sabi niya, sige, oh, ano na ako, tuloy na tayo. So, yung time na yun. Pero may visa ka na noon. Meron. Oh, meron. may visa. Pero ang punta niya, unan niyang punta sa Amerika, ako ang nagdala nun. Tapos di, Amerika na yun. Uh, June na kami noon. How long were you guys here? That, that trip, siguro mga three weeks siguro. Tagal oh, din, din, no? I mean, we couldn't stay long also because um, ang tawag dito, I was, I was still in you're, office. You're, yeah, yeah. And then siya, ano doon. And then I just wanted to, I know, I promised kasi my grandmother I would pick her up then. Like, and how long have you been dating nung panahon na to? Magsi six months na. Was that the time also, I'm just gonna guess, na na-realize mo na, yep, this is the one. Yeah, because that was the time I proposed to her. When we got to the stage. Yeah! I already had that plan. Because when she said, yun yung mga things that are set in motion. Because kung hindi siya sumama, kung hindi niya na ba, ano yung plan? Wala. Walang proposal. Hindi mo na na-calculate yun. No? Hindi, ko na, at hindi ko talaga makalculate yun. Kasi alam mo, no, nag, yung araw na nag-propose siya, talaga yung sasabihin ko dito, may sakit ako nun. May UTI. Oh. <laughs> TMI. Pero ganun talaga tayo. Hilong, Kulay hilong. sa tubig. Oo. Oh. 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 Hindi ako mahilig kuminan ng yun. tubig yeah. talaga. Kasi, uh, actually, ito na kwento ko na to before some interviews there was one time na na realize ko na siya na yung gusto kong pakasalan was i woke up one day and i could not 
breathe. We were we were talking the night before, but then I just woke up. I go, parang, I just felt something strong. Na, parang gusto ko ka, na she, she's the one, and gusto ko sabihin sa. Tinawagan kita nani? Eh. Ikakausap lang namin, di ba? Dati mat, like <laughs> telebabad kami uh-huh. sa phone. So she was the last person I spoke to before going to sleep, and then when I woke up. Parang, parang ko na nanaginip pa noon or something. Tapos parang masigip yung dibdib ko. Tapos tumawag ako sa kanya. Sabi niya, oh, umaga mo nagising. Ganun. Wala lang sa ikaw, naalala lang kita. Sabi ko, parang, Yay! Haba ng hair ko, grabe. <laughs> parang nung, pwede na ako mag-jumping rope. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos nung time na yun, uh, ano na yun? Alam ko hindi siya, hindi siya sasama sa, sa akin sa states na nun eh. Pero, yun nga, before ako umalis, biglang sasama siya. Feeling? So, nung, nung sinabi niya sasama siya, doon na pumasok sa mind ko, Lord, could this be it? Sabi Amen. ko na, ito yung opportunity, sasama siya sa akin. So, actually, plinano ko. Pagdating ko sa, ano, hindi niya alam ito, wala siyang alam. Pagdating ko sa, sa US noon, that was 2000, 2000, diba? 2000, when I came to 2000, year 2000, June. Pagdating namin doon, it was my uh, uncle, <laughs> si Tito Rafi noon. Yun nga, si Tito, Tito Rafi from Valle. Oh, yeah. Ang kasabuat. Niya, ang kasabuat. <laughs> so pagdating namin doon, <laughs> hindi ko pa makakalimutan yun. Di unang dating natin doon, di ba? Si Tito Rafi. Grabe. E bago ang TFC, kakalabas pa. Kayo laman ng lahat ng mga dyan. Napaka controversy. Barang, ano kayo dito? Sabi niya, kayo yung pinag-uusapan dito. Yung... Hindi ka wala kang kamalay-malay. Hindi, alam na. Siyempre, alam feeling sa, mo na. Sa, oh. sa, from the, Airport from pa lang eh. Philippines, Uh, alam mo sa Pilipinas, mm. kasi ito sa big issue yeah. talaga, pinag-uusapan yun. Miski sa, miski sa konseho nun, pinag-uusapan namin yung, yung issue nun eh. May mga issue nun. Pero pagdating ko sa Amerika, I didn't realize na ganun na yung impact. Everybody was tuned in to the bus and all. So alam nila yung mga controversy. Pagdating namin dun, sabi ko na kay Tito Rafi, sabi ko, pwede mo ba akong tulungan? Sabi, bakit? Kasi gusto ko na mag-propose. Ayun. No? Ang, ang original plan ko nun, I was sana sa ano, yung pinaka-highest building or may parang yeah. restaurant sa ano sa San Francisco. Yes. I was overlooking. Tapos Ooh. doon ako magpapropose. Sabi niya sa akin, Di, may mas magandang idea. Sabi niya, punta na lang tayo, akit tayo sa Taho. Ah, oh, sa Taho tayo. Sabi niya, dyan, dyan, ka, mag, dyan ka mag-propose. Ako bahala. Sabi niya gano'n. Oh, sabi niya, mas maganda yan. Huwag na sa San Francisco, doon tayo sa Taho. So, pumunta kami noon. And what month was what month? June. June. Oh, di, masarap pa summer, di ba? Oh, June 17, actually. So we were there the night before. Ano na ako nun? Parang, siyempre, magpo-propose ka na. Dal, dala ko na. Dala ko yung, actually, pag punta sa Amerika, dala ko yung sing-sing. So, Time out. Oh. One week to go bago ka magpunta ng Amerika. Nung sinabi ni Jessa na pupunta, sasama, okay pa ba yung ano? Oh. Saka mo palang binili yung sing-sing o nabili mo na yung sing-sing? Eh, binili ko nung sinabi niyang sasama siya. So, <laughs> so you had ako. one week. Oh. One week to find the yeah. ring. Oh. Okay. Eh ano, syempre, <laughs> a- ano ka pa ba noon? Ang general opportunity. Eh ang ano naman ang mami ko mahilig naman sa mga mga jewelry. Jewelry. Pero yung ang <laughs> parang meron na akong engagement ring one, engagement ring two. Ito yung oh. mabilis ko lang mabilisan. Yes, yes, yes. Ito May yung, sabi lang na game official oh, tayo. Oh, ito yung mabilisan, ito yung to follow na mas yes. ano, sabi ko hanapin yung mami ko maghahanap no mas ano yon mas, mas alam nila eh mas, oh. mas mahal yon <laughs> <laughs> pero mahal din <laughs> din value rin to pero okay no ako na so pagdating ko dun sa ano namin when we got to so I, to the states it was with me so you know we went to Lake Tahoe the the concept became from uh, getting you know driving being picked up by a limo supposed to be going to that ano mm-hmm. that restaurant on top of a building it became let's go to Lake Tahoe let's take a carriage and we were traveling by the lake so <laughs> nagrent kami ng carriage na ano yun galing pang ang England Asa si Tito Rafi nitong kagan kasama na namin okay. nandito kami sa ano noon nasa nagstay pa kami sa yung Haras yung border ng yeah. California at Nevada at Nevada di ba that hotel the pag konting hakbang mo lang Nevada Kasi bata yeah. na. So, ready na kami. Sabi, ganun. Ito yung piniprayer na nila. Pati yung carriage. Si Tito Rafi, tinulungan talaga ako. Saka sila Tita Tessa, sila Tita Jazz. So, yun, so sinet na yun. Pagka, ano namin, 
eh bigla nagkasakit nga to. <laughs> So sabi ko, <laughs> hindi ako sana sa Amerika kasi. Oh, hindi siya nagkasakit. So sabi ko, ano ba 'yan? Ano ba 'yan dito? <laughs> eh, ano, the following day na 'yun, eh, bali umaga 'yun eh. Uh, kasi dumating kami doon kahapon gabi. So, yeah. ano ka magpo-propose gabi? Yes. Diba? So, so umaga by the lake. Eh. Excited ka nung mga Oh, excited ako. Ikaw so, clueless ka. Clueless, wala, wala, wala akong alam sa eh. Tapos sabi ko lang, kahilong-hilo ko sa jet lag noon. I think ang sinabi siya, 'di ba, parang mag ano tayo magbabay the lake kami. Uh-huh. Yes. Sasakay kami ng carriage kasi nga bakasyon eh. So, sinet up na nandun siya. Ha, man nagiiintay ako. Ito matutuwa ka dito kasi ito yung mga sinasabi kong ah, could this be a sign kasi so ano ka? Syempre mag this is a life changing na to, eh, 'di ba? Um, desidido ka talaga nito. Oh, this is nandun ka na eh, uh-huh. 'di ba? Oh, dala mo na. Iniintay ko siya dahil nagpe-prepare uh, at siguro nag ano nga dahil nga may UTI. Pumunta ako sa ano, sa casino sa kabilang side. Check. Papatay <laughs> so ako ng pa, Papatay ako ng oras eh. Sabi ko ano kaya gagawin ko dito? Wala, iniintay ko pa siya. Pagdating ko dun sa loob ng casino, eh umaga 'yan eh. So, yung tao, walang masyadong tao. Merong isang table game there. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, Let It Ride. Ang okay. Pangalan, Let It Ride pa, tama ba? So I didn't realize what it was. I mean, it's, a, it's a like a poker game. Yung parang yeah. pusoy siya na game. Tapos, pinapanood ko yung lalaro. <laughs> Nagpapatay lang ako ng oras eh. Tapos biglang sabi nung dealer, you wanna try? You wanna just, like, How does that work? Yeah, I'll show it to you. So, labas ako. Yung, nagpapalit ako. Uh, parang $50 ata. Uh-huh. Antaya, kasi, antaya $15. Parang i-let it yes. try, double mo yes. eh. Ganyan. So, nag-ano ako, alam mo ba ang nangyari doon? Uh, wala pa akong <laughs> five minutes ata. Pagka-deal, lumabas ano, apat na siyete. Oh my Nag-quadro. God, quadro. Nag-quadro ako talagang, eh, jackpot yun eh, yeah. di ba? Sabi ko, eh, seven is my number. July seven ako eh. That's oh always my been my lucky number or whatever. But it's always been seven. So, seven, seven. Talagang, kinilabutan ako. Tapos, n- siyempre nang nanalo ko, parang, ano to? Sabi ko, so, sabi ko I'm, I'm cashing out. Sabi ko, hindi naman ako talagang sobrang yeah. sugarol. Eh. So sabi ko, excited na excited ako. So, sabi ko, you know that I'm gonna propose today? Oh, sabi sa akin, hindi na, and I did, uh, congratulations. Yeah, I'm so excited. I gotta go back there because sabi ko, she's waiting for me. <laughs> sabi ko, ganun. So imagine mo, ano ako, nakawa ko yung magkani, jackpot. Magkani yung 50? Yung 50 naging what? 15 da, ano, naging uh, parang, 950 ata o oh, thousand dollars. Basta ganun. Hindi <laughs> mo. Oh, basta ganun. Something like a thousand dollars. Something like that. So, siyempre, of ano course. Ako, nanalo ako. Panta ako dun sa kanya. Pagdating dun, yung mukha niya, kasi may sakit siya eh. Parang, <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang <laughs> ganun talaga. Talagang, nako, ano eh, ba ito? Ikaw din sa sobrang anxiety mo, nagkasakit ka rin eh. Huh? Hindi ko na maalala ang sakit ako. Basta, ang, <laughs> ang, ang mindset, ay, oh, yung, yung chan ko, iba, lagi namang masakit chan ko. Pagkadating namin doon, sakay na kami sa sa carriage. So, na-brief na, na, na ng uncle ko. Si, okay. Yung si, si mamang kutsero. Yeah. So, ito, kikwentuhan kami. Ngayon siya. And, ganito pa ang suit mo, parang puti. Din hindi ka ba napaduyan na magka-carriage kayo? Hindi mo inisip hindi, na? Hindi, hindi naman. Hindi ba first time niya sa Amerika? Right, oh. na, 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 na may, may, may sakit ako. Kailangan pa ba't kailangan ba ito? Hindi pa pwedeng kumain na lang tayo or hindi mo naisip mo? Hindi, parang ganyan. feeling ko, oh, romantic. Kaya lang, sama okay. na pakiramdam ko. Okay, so hindi. Hindi. So, so, ano, kaya nakonsama na, tapos may video namin yun, may video siya eh. Di ba uso? <laughs> Dating wala pa yeah. namang video sa phone eh. Ganun pa. So, kausap na ang ang kwento ni Mamang Kutsero, di ba? Ang dami niya kinikwento. Yeah. Na yung carriage daw, sinakyan daw niya ni Diana, Diana Ross. Ross. Tapos galing yan sa England, yung sa, yung ko, sa royal family, whatever. Basta nandun siya. No? Dating na kami sa lake. Saka, ito na, malapit na. Eh, alam ko na eh. So, siya, siya, wala siya talagang kamongmog. Talagang gagalan siya, titingin siya. Parang ano, pero yung, kita mo yung mata niya, talagang may sakit. Uh, pero ang ganda, ang ganda ng weather. Siya, yeah! Tao, eh. Huminto. Ya alam ko na, yung tunay. Huminto na yung kabayo. Kinto, ito na. Say, this is a nice spot, sabi nung ano, uh, rice spot. So, as, ano na yung camera. So, binigay, kasi kinukunan ko siya ng picture dito, tapos binigay ko sa kanya. Tapos, pagtingin ko sa kanya, ganyan, tingin na pa lang siya. Tapos, biglang, siyempre, ay... Siyempre, lumuhod. Oh, 
Sorry. So, nawala ko lang, nakalimutan mo yung sakit mo. Like parang oh, oh, na- nakalimutan uh, ko talaga yung sakit ko. Parang, uh, ano ba ito? Totoo ba ito? <laughs> <laughs> Teka muna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kasi parang napapanood ko lang to sa pelikula. Parang bilang nag-flashback yung ano, kabataan ko. Uh-huh. Kasi parang ganang bilis. Tapos, so, uh, sabi ko, will you marry me? Tapos, uh, wait, bil- wait, oh. wait. Okay, cut tayo sa will you marry me. This episode is brought to you by Binalot, Los Angeles. I've always wanted to know what goes... Kasi pag tinanong ko si Jaja, syempre bibigyan niya ako ng sagot na gusto ko marinig or whatever. Alam ko na dyan si Ding Dong. Pero nung narinig mo yung Will you marry me? Syempre, <laughs> slow mo yun sa... <laughs> sa ano mo eh, di ba? Parang, parang nag tunnel vision. Parang... Oh, ang sharp nun. Sa tinga ko. What the heck? Nawala yung sakit ko. Imagine mo, tinanong ka, may sakit ka nun. Ano uh-huh. kanong dating nga sa'yo nun? Ako rin na-curious tuloy ako. May sakit ka nun. <laughs> diba? May sakit ka? Alam mo lang, mamamasyal ka. Uy, romantic to. Hindi mo ina expect Gusto mo lang sumama ng Amerika. And now you have a decision to make. You really did have a decision to make. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ah... Uh, hindi. Well, pwede ka bang, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin mm-hmm. yun eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sira lahat yun eh. But this is part of every girl's dream na may prinsipe yung magpo-propose sa kanya So this was your moment. What did it, bababalik ka mababa, what did it feel like? Confident ako sa sagot ko sa kanya. Ilan, Kasi sec- ano ilan eh? seconds after yung sagot mo sa kanya? Sandali lang. Mabilis Oo, lang. Madali akong kausap eh. <laughs> baka, baka naman alam mo na kasi. Mo hindi eh. ko alam. <laughs> hindi pero kasi nung time na yun. <laughs> Grabe na. Si Jay, Jay, kinikilin ko. <laughs> nung time na yun. <laughs> ano, um, an- ready na ako eh. Ready na ako sa sarili ko na. Uh, Sinabi mo ba na, Ding Dong is the one for me? Oo, oh, kasi alam ko na siya yung even, tamang tao even para before, sa akin. Even before that. Alam oh, mo na. Oh. Kitawa, dalawa so, na kami nag-interview na sa'yo. Oh, kasi, oh, <laughs> oh, bilang show na namin to. Alam mo. Okay, so ako oh. lang ang guest dito. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, pero yun yun. Pero, pako, alam ko, hindi ko alam kung na-re-remember na, na, na ng mga ano, viewers natin. Na at that time, ang age gap namin ni Jessa is 11 years. She was only so, 21 at oh, that time. Wow. Diba? Sariwang ba- sariwang. Ba- yes, oh, batang bata. <laughs> yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero ano kasi, And you were at the height of... Peak ng career mm-hmm. ko yun. Uh. Pero kasi feeling ko, ako mas alam ko yung gusto ko sa buhay. 11 years old pa lang, nag-artista na ako, nagtatrabaho mm-hmm. na ako. Uh, nag- napuntahan ko na yung gusto ko sa career yes. ko. Pwede kong pagpatuloy. Alam ko na matibay-tibay na. Ito naman yung gusto kong chapter na puntahan sa buhay ko. Dumating, pinagpray ko na dumating yung tamang tao para sa akin. E nandito na, aarte pa ba ako? Let's go! <laughs> Paano ba kayo nagkakilala? <laughs> Show sa din, show. concert din. Sinong unang kinilig kanino? Siya. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Siling Mali ano ba yung nasabi ko? Mali. Hindi, ay, ako pala ako. Sorry, ako. Masyado pong feelingero yung isang guest nyo. <laughs> me, it was me. You know. Of course, it was me. Uh, no, um, yeah, it was the it was a show that, mind you, I didn't want to do. Kita mo talaga si God. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I didn't want to do. Why? Because my manager at that time, whom is a dear friend, uh, but at that time, I parang booked me in a show, got me to do a show. I don't even know the details except that I was going to do it and I don't even know how was how how much I was going to get paid and all basta show up ko, yeah, you, and you didn't even tell me basta oh may rehearsal ka may gan- what ang ganito di ba so yung mga gawin niya hindi ko nga alam ang detalye so biglang yung road manager ko nagpapanik na kasi sabi ko I, I don't want to do that hindi ko alam na sabi ni sabi ng manager gawin mo na lang hindi na siya kukuha ng commission sa na lang lahat sabi niya basta gawin mo tong show na to sabi ko, yun ang sabi niya? O, oh, oh, di sige, gawin ko. <laughs> o, oh, di, okay. Pumunta ako doon. Sa rehearsal? O, oh, sa rehearsal. Ba, ang rehearsal na eh. Hindi ko nga alam na may show right. nga ako. Right. Tapos gagawin ko yes. na lang na gano'n. So, finally, pumunta ako doon. Na, ano, galing pa akong concept. Nakabarong pa ako yes. doon. Eh. So, punta ako doon. Tapos, uh, yun nga, doon ko siya nakita. You were there? Oh, rehearsal niya. Show niya yun eh. Guest lang ako eh. Kita mo. Show Mary, sa Pampanga. Sino, bakit... Bakit siya ang guest? Kayo nung idea yun? Yung producer. And nung nalaman, oh, ding-dong avansado. Anong, okay. 
Okay. okay. Sila, yeah. ano yun so, yung sila Mark II pa si, di ba? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yung Shamrock. Pero hindi pa sila Shamrock ata oh, noon eh. So si Tracy at si Mark pa to. Si brother ni Mark noon eh. Si anong pangalan nung... Oh, si ano? Si Richie? Oh, si Richie noon. Richie. At that time, oh, si Richie. God bless his soul. Oh, God bless oh. his soul. Pero nung yun, si, nung time na yun, sila yung ano noon. So, ang nag-ano ng show na yun. So, 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 so ikaw, ayaw mo, ang layo nga naman, traffic, wala, hindi mo alam to. No, hindi that. ko lang, kasi ayaw ko lang. Di ba ikaw ba? Gagawin mo exactly. yun. Hindi mo, hindi mo alam how much you're gonna get. Hindi yes. mo alam kung... Uh, Tawag dito, may, hindi mo alam talagang may show ka pala, nag-guest ka dun sa na si Je, may show si Jess. Ha? So sabi ko, it's, it has nothing to do with her naman. Oh, naman. I, it was just so unprofessional lang na ganun. But, Did you come early or late? Tama lang. Kasi tama lang. Ako na siya nauna. Eh. So tamang-tama yung dating ko. Nakita kayo ko. sa rehearsal. Sorry ha, nakinikilig oh. ako eh. Pero kaya... Pero, <laughs> nakita kami sa hallway. Yung, oh, pa, 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 paano yung pansina pa? no? oh, sa hallway? Pa, pa, ito, ito na nga eh. <laughs> Ang ba studio yun? Kay, kay Willie Moon hiyo yun, di ba? Si Henry kinikilig din. Oh, sa Cubao yun eh, sa Cubao. Oh, so, nandun okay na, ayan. Kala ayan, di ba? Uh, yun. So sa hallway nun, ito siya, naka-Indian naka style na seat. <laughs> Naka-maong, tapos nakaputi lang na t-shirt. Eh, para sa akin, na, yun ang gustong-gusto ko. Yung white shirt, tas jeans. Doon makita si babae pag ganun yes. yung picture, parang pure na pure. Mo, oh, uh-huh. s- ano lang, simpleng. Doon makita maganda, tapos nakaganon yung, yan, ganyan yung parang yun mo nakaganon. Italiado pa. Siyempre. <laughs> kaya, Markado. Kaya, kaya obvious na sino yung patay na patay, di ba? Kasi alam na alam ko. Mm-hmm. So parang imagine mo, sa lahat ng pwede mo suotin ng araw na yun, ganun yung, mm-hmm. yun, yun yung parang wow. Tapos ang unang, although this is not the first time we met, ha? we met before, but it wasn't under that circumstance. But at that time, Uh, nung mga iba mabilisan lang. Parang, hi, hello, gonna introduce lang. Ito ngayon, we were gonna be working together. So, pagdating ko doon, pagdating ko, ano siya, uh, very, ano siya, welcoming. Sabi niya, hi. Ano siya, yung, sabi ko, hi. So, sabi ko, ganda ng ngiti niya. Parang, <laughs> ano, ha. Tapos. <laughs> Kasi, Kasi iniisip ko lang, eh, si Ding Dong Avanzado, ang cute naman ito, no? Ito yung napapanood ko sa Eat Bulagano nung 8 years old pa lang ako. Sumali ako Sige. sa Little Miss Philippines. Sabi ko na. Narinig ko na yung story na yan. Huwag mo nang alin yan. Hindi kasi nag-guest, nag-guest sila regular sila sa Eat Bulaga yes. eh. ba? Diba? So sabi ko yan si Ding Dong. Galindo. Yun lang? Kaya ka pangiti? Hindi dahil na-cute ang kasakin? Sabi ko nga cute nga. Ah, okay. Sabi. Ang galing no? Nagkukrus na yung mga landas ninyo. <laughs> Pero talaga eh, pag nag-cross ang path ninyo at a time na tama talaga, Iba yeah. eh. Yeah, diba yung, like yung timing nga, sinasabi yes. nga namin. Imagine mo, who would think at 21, at the peak of her career, and here I was, I mean, I, I actually there came a point in my life, I didn't think I would still get married. Uh, not that I'm gay or something, but I just felt like... <laughs> Hoy, wala, wala sa amin dalawa nag-isip oh, nun ha? Hindi, hindi. Ibig ko sabihin, <laughs> no, kasi parang, mga relationships ko parang, hindi siya nagtatagal. Parang, hindi ata ako... Parang ano nangyari? Ba't di nag-happy nag- ending yun? Parang ganon. Hindi ata ako meant uh, na magkaroon ng yes. isang relationship. Hindi ko sinasabing hindi ako magkakaroon ng girlfriend or something. Right, or right. <coughs> ikakasal. Uh, sabi ko, maybe just... Ewan ko, parang... Ano, dumating na ako sa point na yun. Nakaganito na lang buhay ko. Ayaw ko, nagdadrama-drama lang ako. Episode in my life. And then, boom, dumating siya. Tapos nung dumating siya nga, uh, it just... Parang ano yan eh. Walang, hindi yung edad ng all. But I guess that played a part because in terms of the level of maturity, sabi ko nga, if I were younger pa, tapos syempre si Jessa, 21, iba pa ang ano niya, siguro we would not have lasted. Amen. It would have been a different uh, circumstance. But at that time, we came together at the right time for her and for me. Di ba, minesyo niya kanina, yeah. she was praying about it. Yes. And for me, um, I do I too was praying about it but I just felt there wasn't anybody that was right for me but then she she came and that I remember that time eto na yung cute part do nani bumalik tayo sa studio <laughs> de ano sabi ko rehearse muna ako ha niya, yeah okay sige so, in my mind kanta ng babae to so <laughs> so ako sobra tsaka Woo-hoo! si si Jess eh tsaka si si, si, si Jess sa Saragossa yeah. I mean Everybody wanted to be Jessa Saragossa at that time. Your mm. song was like all over the radio. Yep. You were the you were the Yes. The, you were that celebrated pop artist of yes. that time. So 
sabi ko, wow, si Jessa to. Tapos, in my mind, ah, alam ko na. Kasi sinabila ko sinabihan ni Richie, oh. magdu-duet kayo. Kailangan daw may duet. So, oh. noong time, yun ang naging uh, opportunity. So, sabi ko, o, oh, paano yung duet? Sabi ko sa kanya, uh, <laughs> anong tawag dito? Kailangan, para sabi ko, huwag ka na yung mahirapan. Kung ano nalang yung alam mo, sabi ko pa sa kanya. I don't know, for some reason, di ko alam kung bakit biglang ganun ang inano ko. Pero siguro ganun. Di, dinedecline ko na sana yun. Pero sa, talagang gusto ng producer. Oh. Hindi dapat talaga may duet kayo. Oh. Sabi. So, nung, nung op, yung opportunity na yun came, sabi ko, sige, I'll just get your number. Give me yung song na gusto mo. Para makuha ko sa'yo. Diba? Ba't ka tinitingin ng ganyan? Kasi, alam mo na eh. Style? So, Hitay ninyo guys, ha? napaka-swabe, ba diba? Oo, no? <laughs> eh, papa, sa akin, no? wala naman akong, that time, wala si Rod nun eh. Wala akong T, eh. Ikaw lang, di ba, bigla akong dumating. Perfect oh, na perfect, eh. Di ba? Oh. Pero yung pagkasabi ni, ni Dingdong talaga, hindi, sige, I'll get na lang yung number. Oh, hindi, hindi. Meron pala akong B, kasi, naalala ko, nandun yung mga sekretary. Oh, yeah. Pansiyala ko nun, eh. Maraming kang Meron, entourage nun. Oh, may entourage nun. ako nun. Hindi, ang oh, ano ko dun, lang. siya, kasi nung kausap si Richie, magdu-duet, nandun kami, magkasama kami. Oh, sige, kaya ako naisip, kasi nandun ka na sa harap ko. Sige, I'll just get your number so that you can tell me the song that you wanna sing. Hindi ko pa alam kung ano ba yun. May duet ba? Nag-duet ba kayo ni Renz Verano? Meron na. O parang mayroon siyang song na, yun, yun, yun na lang daw aralin ko. Dapat you and I. O yun, yun yung song. So sabi ko, eh sabi ko, hindi ko alam yung, ano, you have to give me the study tape. Mga time study tape. <laughs> I know. So, sige, so, binigyan niya sa akin yung number. So, pumasok na ako sa, sa rehearsal. So, sabi ko, ganda ng babae ito. Cute. Sabi ko, pag ito bumalik dito, pumasok sa loob, hindi totoo to ah. Sabi ko, eh man, man, pag ito bumalik dito at pumasok sa loob, ah, may pag-asa ako dito. Ibig sabihin, ah! interesado rin sa akin to. Kasi nagbabay na ako dun eh. Yeah. Wala na, di ba? Babay na. Sige na, okay na. So, kausap ko na yung banda. Kalahay mo. Clockwork ko. Oh. Pasok siya ulit. Bye! <laughs> Sabi ko, ayan na. Ito na pala yun. Sa- bumalik? <laughs> o oh, ikaw naman, bakit ka bumalik? Gusto ko lang magbigay po. Oh. Magpaalam. Kanino? Magpaalam ka oh, oh. Oh, kanino? Oh, oh, nag-usap na tayo doon sa labas eh. Siyempre sa mga ano, banda natin. Kailangan oh. magbigay tayo. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Namumula ka? Nakakalurky kayo. Ano ba? Nawala jet lag mo. No? <laughs> Nawala yung jet lag. Oh. Hindi, pero ganun talaga. Pag buma- bumalik siya, eh di siyempre, bakit siya babalik? Nag-usap na kami, nagbabay na siya doon. Diba of course, sinasabi niya, ba- babay daw siya sa banda. Paano mo kaya sabi? Nagbababay ka sa banda, eh, nandun ka na sa labas, eh. Hindi sa'yo yung una. Ha? Sa'yo yung una. Mm. Sa'yo yung una, tapos, syempre, ah, ako, band members. Ka sa akin? Band members yung huli. O nga, pero magbabay. Pero nagbabay ka na sa kanya, eh. Nagpalita oh, eh. na nga kayo ng number. O, di sige, ito, babay. O, ito na mo. Kaya, so nagbabay siya. Ulit nyo, ha? Ganyan, parang ganyan suit mo, honey, puti. Tapos oh. ganyan, di ba? Wala pa nitong ganyan. Pero, yun yun. So, pagpasok niya, babay, say ko. Di, ang ganda na rehearsal mo. Oo. Oh. Say ko, okay. Di, inisip ko pa. After that, nung kinagabihan, uh, tumawag na ako. Ano, or was it the following day? No, the same yeah, night. Yeah. Kasi kailangan malaman mo na talaga yung... message ko. <laughs> Hi, uh, anong tawag dito? I hope na, anong tawag dito? Uh, I will catch you in a bad time. <laughs> ano, we'll see. Baka... Is there ano uh, if I can call you para sa ano? Ano di ba yung text ako nandeh? Eh. Mm-hmm. Tapos, umain sa tawag. So tawag lang akala mo parang usap lang ng song. Talaga niya naman ng ano ko. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, pero to 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 ah. Kala ko mga 10-15 minutes na yung conversation. Alam mo two and a half hours na kami mm-hmm. nag-usap. Ikaw naman inaantay mo man tatawag sa that day or the following day o hindi siya tatawag at all? Eh, siyempre, hinihintay ko yung tawag niya because Ay, mag-a- mag-aaral. <laughs> Kailangan so, maaral namin yung kanta. So talaga, kanta. alam mo, tatawag ako. Oh, pero siyempre, curious din ako sa kanya. Sabi so, ko. Talagang, Then, tsaka, ano talaga, um, sabi ko. So there was a different feeling also this oh, time na nakita oh, mo si Ding Dong. Oh, oh. Galing, no? Yeah. Tapos nung nag-usap na kami, <laughs> wow, okay tong tao na to ah. May laman ng utak. Pwede. Mm, check, check, checklist din, oh, checklist. Yeah. So, so you were on the phone for two and a half hours. What did your mom say? Um, sa una parang 
Wala lang. Parang benay, okay oh, may lang. show sila. Ganun, oh, ganun, ganun. ganun lang. Ganun na tapos na yung show, nag-uusap pa rin kayo, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh, ano oh. na sarabi tapos, ng mami mo? Tapos crush na crush pa siya ng makeup oh, artist okay. ko. Ako, oh, oh. may kakampe. <laughs> may kakampe. Meron nga ta- kasabot. <laughs> eh, nakakatawa pa nga nito dahil ito yung <laughs> cleanser. Hindi na tuloy yung duet namin. Kasi What? hindi niya binigay. Yun ang feeling ko, sinetap niya yun eh. <laughs> Oh, kasi Over, hinihingi ko yung kanta. Huwag mo kayong maniwala hindi. dito sa asawa ko pero kasi hindi. nung ano yan po sinasabi dito sa ano, podcast. Kasi, kasi nung ano yan, totoo naman eh. Bakit sa'yo manggagaling yung study tape? Oh, ano mo si pa? Sa'yo manggagaling yung study tape? Hindi ko ba nasend yung study tape yun? Hindi. Sabi mo, Talaga sorry, naging busy ako. At nakapag-duet oh. sila ni Renz Verano. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, wala si Renz Verano doon. Sinasabi okay. ko lang na may, may song silang nirecord. Okay, okay, okay. Sila. Kinanta namin sa concert ko. Oh. So, ibig sabihin, may ready study tape dapat yun? Dapat, dapat meron. So, ibig sabihin nun, dapat dumating sa akin. Ah. Hindi. Sinabi siya na, no, kasi naging busy ako. <laughs> So sabi ko, okay lang. So hindi na kami, ewan ko, ano na, bakit ba pumayag na lang sila Richie? Oh, hindi or, ko na maalala. Basta, eh, anyway, hindi talaga nangyari. So, iniisip ko tuloy, talagang sinadya mo talagang gano'n na nangyari. <laughs> so now, balik tayo, zoom! nakaluhod siya, nag-propose siya, and you said, Siyempre, I said yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you said hello. <laughs> so, finally, ang ang nasa isip nyo kahit din yung sa business okay what now di ba kasi ano na yan eh that's a different oh. that's a that's a milestone tsaka ano niisip namin paano kaya natin to itatago sa show business yes kasi nung mga panahon na yun kasi ayaw, pa yung taguan eh oo oh, oh, ayaw, ayaw namin na maraming mm-hmm. makialam muna so did you have to hide the ring oo oh, oo oh, oh. was it okay with you that she was hiding the ring hindi ko sinusot actually in hindi naging okay sa akin. Sa una, okay. Pero hindi naging okay sa akin kasi nawala niya yung ring. <laughs> dahil kakatago niya. Sorry talaga. Pero alam mo ba, dalawa yung, ano, yung uh, engagement. Dito, engagement ring, nawala ko pareho. Kasi may ugali ako pa naguhugas ng kamay. Ay, oh, labahan mo sa lababo. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos yung isa yata, ewan ko nilagay ko yata sa tissue. So, dalawang Matapos. engagement, dalawang engagement na rin yun. Oo, oh, oh. masakit yun. Yung una, mapapatawad ko eh. Yung pangalawa, parang mas mahal yun. Eh. Oh, hmm. uh-uh. Pero na. <laughs> Sorry, pinag-uusapan natin. Again, no pun intended. Revelation, di ba? Oh, revelation talaga. Yeah. Marami tong revelation. Oh, yun tong theme natin ngayon, oh. podcast na to, revelation. Oh. Yun. Kaya okay. marami talagang mare-reveal. But, you know, that that's how things work eh, yes. for in sa aming relationship how things unfolded and we're here I pero ito na nga time out ah. ito ito parang agamulak leya sa longga ang dating eh. ito yung nagpropose bang ilang araw niya na sa America nung time na yun nung nagpropose ka bago pa lang kami that like was the, the first, first week. thing that was the first thing yeah, oh, the, the, first, the first week right kasi nga yun yung in my mind kasi yung unang dating namin ng port of entry San Francisco kaya yun ang una namin ginawa. Before pa ako pumunta si... Sa Lola mo. Na nasa Vegas kasi umiikot din yeah. yung Lola ko nun. Kaya pumunta kami ng LA. LA Las Vegas eh. Pero saan po muna? So, ano so okay. Again ha. Just to give context to to people out there watching na malamang kinikilig na ngayon at nai-inspire tulad namin. Dumating one week you made the decision to go to America with Ding Dong expecting nothing except to see America. A week, within a week of being in the States, you are now engaged. So, ang sarap nung pag nilagyan mo ng soundtrack at nilagyan mo ng montage hanggang tatignan yun for the next two weeks, eh, di ba? Uh-huh. What did it feel like na alam mong, check, check, na nandun ka na sa stage yun. Did it ever occur to you na paano ko itatago to? Or, ay, paano ko itatago to sa press? Or, paano ko itatago to sa nanay ko? Oh, yun na nga. <laughs> Paano ko ba sasabihin to sa Pero hindi mo sinabi sa kanya. Ko. O sinabi mo sa sinabi kanya. ko rin naman sa okay, kanya. Okay, that was good. So, oh. dalawa were in one accord dun sa... Hindi, tsaka alam yeah, naman yeah, yun yeah. eh. Of course, we, I, knew, I knew the situation. And remember, she was at the top. Yun na nga, di ba? Parang... But at some point, we would, be, we would be announcing it. But yung circumstance kasi nun, imagine mo... 11 years. Tsaka hindi, umalis kami... Tapos bigla kaming umunta, di ba? Isipin na buntis ka ba to? Oh, or something, mm-hmm. di ba? So, 
walang ganun and, and for the record she was not she was never pregnant before uh before kami kinasal or something like that talaga it was really love that brought us together yeah. it wasn't because oh nabuntis si Jessa papakasalan hindi it was never like that but I knew we had to uh parang hindi muna namin because of the parang we didn't want the that controversy to blow up eh marami mainit na noon dami ng usap-usapan sa mga laman nga kami ng controversy yeah. noon eh so wala lang hinayaan lang muna namin And, you know, alam mo kanina iniisip ko na yun eh kailan ba natin in-announce na engaged na tayo yun nga kailan nga I don't remember na and who and who announced it? Was it you or was it you? Tito Ricky yata. Si Ricky Lo. Okay, Ricky Lo. Mm. Si Lo. God bless Ricky him also. Yeah. Yan. That's why si Ricky Lo, ang daming mga revelation yan sa buhay ko. Ah. Oh, si, oh. Naninong ni Jada. Siya, siya ang unang mga nakakaalam eh. Right. So, I remember, yeah. I Wait, you told it. Ricky Lo or he found out and he asked you? Which is which? Magaling yun eh. Para kasi then, sinulat niya yun eh about sa pagpunta natin sa Amerika. Oo. And then at, at some point we decided. Hindi so, tsaka parang one time na naalala ko lang. One time yata nakalimutan kong tanggalin yung ring ko. <laughs> na ano? <laughs> Pansin ni Dolly Ann Carvajal. Hindi ko, ko na alam to. Hindi hindi ko na mga naalala. Kasi daw yun. sabi niya yung ring mo parang engagement ring. Sa ano ah on air. What do you say? Sabi ko, wala, tumatawa lang ako. <laughs> so, talaga? Tapos, talaga? Siyempre, may, oo, may si Dali Ann. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Hindi ko na maalala. Tapos, after, no, I think, nasulat niya rin yun, tapos pinag-uusapan, tapos pinapaamin nila ako, ganun. Kaya, tinatawanan ko lang sila. <laughs> Galing, no? <laughs> so, officially, inamin na niya. Uh, And then, so, what, how did it feel for you nung finally it's out in the open, you have the girl of your dreams, kailan nyo pinag-usapan ng kasal? Was it after it was revealed to the public or kayo palang dalawa pinag-usapan nyo na yung date ng kasal ninyo? Um, I think even before that, we were already discussing it. Pero, it, nung in-announce na, na officially that we were engaged, that's when we started talking to some, yung make it talagang concrete Dati kasi usap kami dalawa lang. E tapos yung, syempre, we had, the, had to get a wedding planner. When we put that into motion, nung na-announce na yun. Ang galing, no, Jessa? Because sinabi ni Ding Dong kanina, ang mga relationships niya, oo, meron. Pero hanggang dun lang. Dun lang, dun lang. So in his case, it was public because may wedding planner, may people, alam na, engaged and all that. Were you aware that this was If this was a video game, naka next dang level up na si Ding Dong in terms of his relationship. Were you aware na okay, this is this is new waters for my for my soon to be husband. Hindi mo na isip na mukhang I really am the one, parang ganoon or wow, this is new for him as it is for you, parang ganoon. Yeah, pero ano eh, um alam ko na syempre big step din sa kanya to, no. So alam mo you were aware of that. Aware na? aware ako na pareho na kaming ready. Ikanda. Kumbaga kahit ayaw nila ako wala akong pakialam. <laughs> Ang sarap ng ganun din, <laughs> eh, no. Kasi ganun ganun ako eh. Ah. Wala akong ako talaga yung tao walang BS. Right. I mean, kung di mo trip, yung Ganun. gusto ko, kung di mo gusto, sorry. Sa iyo 'yun. Mm. Ako ito decision. Mas alam ko kung ano yung um kung ano yung tama para sa akin right. kasi pinag-aralan ko rin naman yun and kung magtitake ako ng risk I mean buhay ko to ready ako sa consequences ng actions ko correct pero alam mo nung time na yun maraming kumukontra sa relationship namin maraming kumukontra kasi uh, well they felt na you know yeah, J- J- Jessa was at the top of her career so kontrabida marami uh, tsaka you know, hindi, hindi sila bagay mm you know all those things and uh bakit bakit ganun di ba parang basta marami lang silang mga opinions mga opinion na ano and how uh, did it affect you like i said hindi ako ano eh yung basta what's important to me was how she felt about me and if i was secure about that nothing else mattered everything was just noise Ganda. you know you just 
go on and di ba? kasi I know what's real and what's what's with her what we have is real so nakatuwangan <laughs> wala naman siyang love team yeah oh nga no wala ako wala rin namang mm. love team so it, it could have been a game changer if there was kasi yeah. Masis- may, ma- may mga love team oh di ba pero wala at that time wala masisira ang negosyo but we, you know but we were solo artists and you know si Jessa nga was at that time talagang sobrang busy and all as a solo artist but she she knew what she wanted also mm. eh she was sabi nga niya sa di ba Ganun. kanina she prayed for it and the same time ganun din sa akin uh, that was it parang sa amin we will we'll just go with this um, what we what we felt and eventually um, God willing we will prove them wrong yung bang relationship mo with with the Lord and your relationship with the Lord did you both discover it together or magkahiwalay alam mo siya yung unang naging Christian I was I became a Christian in 1987 pa wow when I entered the music business that's when I found the Lord and uh, received Christ Um, but you know my life was not The perfect as is you know, wala naman perfect oh, life when we know that yeah. but before kasi when you were when you're a baby christian you're trying to perfect it eh. then you realize it when after many years of struggle and all you know the christian life is not meant to be perfected there's no such thing kaya mag- that's why kaya may grace di ba oh that's why there's grace and <laughs> grace is sufficient di ba kasi kung sarili mo pa lang kusa lang yan then you wouldn't need di ba the ano ta dito the saving power of christ But then, you know, uh, that that really helped me. And uh, when I understood that, uh, mas naging matiba yung, ano ko, asa, yung pag-walk ko. Right. Not to say that, like I said, hindi naman perfect. Yes, you know? yes. Uh, but Tao lang, put, di ba? Put things in perspective mm. na ito yung mundong uh, ta- ating uh, tao dito tinatahak. But I am secure in the knowledge that I have trusted my salvation With Jesus Christ. Amen. So that 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 being said, when I met Jessa, siempre I, I put all those things uh, into how God works in my life. And nung time na magkasama kami, uh, I had to feeling ko, I had to share with her. My Convic- please, uh, okay. Thank you for saying that, and all of you out there watching and listening. I want to know was there a huge conviction in your heart to that, share uh-huh to share the yes. gospel to share the to share your faith diba kasi yes. may mga iba ita itatago yun eh yeah. na ako ang ang ginawa kong style was nung nag nag sex kami ng missis ko tapos the following day nagpasok ako ng praise and worship so bad <laughs> <laughs> to the point wala well, hindi well, well, siya aware sa ganun so, yeah, what's that ang weird diba sorry ko Lord talaga sorry 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 talagang ganun and yet nine years na kaming magkasama ngayon ba diba? parang ganyan so in your case konsehal ka you're you're a, a believer and then here's Jessa probably the most popular singer in the country nung panahon na yon kayo na or hindi pa kayo, naniligaw ka, and you have to to share who you are to her. Papano? Actually, I shared uh, the gospel to her, or I mean, the salvation about uh, salvation through Jesus Christ. Kami na nun eh. Kayo diba? na nun. Kami na, tayo na nun eh. But before that, hindi pa. When we were in the courtship stage. Pero pa. iniisip na sana natin, Christian wedding, di ba? Oo. Well, no time na Hindi, no courtship stage, hindi mo ba na nakita na kaka- kakaiba to si Dingdong Avanzado ah. May, may iba rito sa taong to. Hindi mo ba nakita yung love ni Jesus sa... Ah? Hindi yun ang nakaano ko eh. Hindi yun ang front ko eh. Ang front ko so, yung... So nagpapakakul ka in other hindi words. Hindi naman sa nagpapakakul ako eh. Nagpapakasuwail ka nung mga pangalaman. Oo, <laughs> lalaki ako eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> ang nasa utak ko nun, lalaki ako, babae ka. So, alam mo yun. Yung, so, pareho pala. Yung, ka, yung ganun, yeah. attraction, di ba? Pero, not to say na ano yun. Siyempre, so, may struggle. May struggle talaga. <laughs> Lahat naman tayo nag-struggle eh. Pero, you know, um, sabi ko nga, hindi, it was not impressed at me at that time na oh, I have to share the ano with you. But it was before we got married. 
you know, I made sure na hey, we have to talk about this. And, oh, and, yeah. Yeah. and she was very open. Naman. You were open. Oh. Open ako eh. Yeah. Oo. And nakikita mo naman siguro sa... Meron na personal relationship sa Panginoon. Pero mm. hindi, hindi pa ganun ka ano eh, ka strong. Right. So, alam ko lang, nakilala ko siya. Mm, na, nakilala na. Pwede kang dumiretso yeah. oh, ako magdasal. Pero siya lang, oh. ganun lang. Pero hindi niya alam yung trust in putting your trust yes. in the salvation to yes. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Yung uh, Accept, acceptance. Yeah. 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 So, see, we had to go through that. And, uh, you know, I had to show it through sa Bible. Ganun yung nangyari. And, you know, uh, thankfully, uh, the grace of God, tinanggap naman niya. Oh, the kilig moment uh, na naman sa iyo. You know, siyempre, ano ako nun. Sobrang gift yun eh. Nantuwa naman ako. Yeah. Na, but at that time kasi siyempre, parang baka mababaw lang ang understanding niya. Siyempre, hindi naman ako magaling mag, hindi naman ako pastor, hindi naman ako ano. So, right. uh, I just explained to her that concept. Eh, naintindihan naman niya. Sabi niya, oh, sabi ko sa kanya, uh, lahat ng tao makasalanan, di ba? And, uh, if we all fall short of the glory of God. And, uh, Tinuro ko sa kanya yun. And then, uh, alam mo ba yung kaligtasan natin kung nasaan na kasalalay? Ito yung sinasabi sa Biblia. Naniniwala ka ba sa Bible? Oo daw. So, we discussed it. And then, uh, na alam mo bang yung kaligtasan natin, hindi natin yun ma-earn. Yeah. Diba? It is, it is given because it's an unmerited favor. It's by grace. Yes, by grace. Eh? Ephesians uh, 8, diba? Ephesians 2. Uh, verse 8 and 9. For it is by grace we are saved, mm. not through good works, so that no one can boast. Can boast. So, dun yun. Uh, naintindihan niya yun. Tapos, we said the prayer, tinanggap niya si Cristo. At tuloy yung buhay namin. Diba? Kung ano man ang ano namin. Pero yung growth as a Christian, that took years. Amen. Ganun naman talagi. Kasi yung start mo, yun, ang sabi nga nila, ikaw, we are given this task to share the gospel. But it's up to God who will convict kung sino man ang tatanggap at, hindi, yes. and, at kung kailan nila tatanggapin. Yes. Basta ikaw mag-share. Kaya huwag kang mag-ano kung... That's the great commission. Oh, Hala, kasi, hayaan mo rin yung oh, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, mag- kasi hindi mo yun sa'yo. Parang huwag kang ma-frustrate pag ah, hindi naman ano, hindi naman siya tumanggap or something. Di ba? Parang nakakaano basta ikaw na share mo right in your in whatever small capacity like even just by saying that you know you you should put your trust in Christ Christ alone that small thing you don't know that what yeah, what they can do faith as a mustard seed as small as a yeah. mustard seed lumalaki yan eh tapos mali mo yung that little thing na sinabi yeah. mo a few few years after dun pa lang magsisink sa kanya yep. or mag, meron din Malimo, ikaw lang yung nag-start, merong conduit, merong iba na naman magsishare sa kanya, yun ang magagamit. So you just do that. And with, with Jess, I'm thankful because she understood it. But then, I know, we started doing our Bible studies and we met our pastor. And that helped um, for her. Yun yung tingin ko na mas lalo niya na unawaan yun. Diba? Si Pastor Bob. Um, and that, you know, in back in 2003 bago pa lang tayo nun. and then uh, you know I, I saw her growth as a uh, woman uh, in Christ na talagang she was after God's heart and na, yun ang nakita ko yung transformation actually dun ako mas lalo pang na, na in love na hindi lang sa na in love at na ano ko as a as a Christian na nakita ko yung faith Grabe yung powerful ano, paninindigan ni Jesus sa Christian faith. Hindi siya nagpapa, na, pagpapatinag. Kasi ito yung paniniwala ko eh. Ganun siya, pag may naniwa, na paniwalaan niya yan, uh, hindi siya basta-basta ma, mararap. Magigil, oh yeah. Hindi siya mapapagiba. Pag yun ang paniwala niya. And that that for me is very um, inspiring and Uh, Iyak ka ba, honey? Ako, na, ako kinikilig ako eh. Ako natutuwa. Dalawa kami na... And, 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 and natutuwa ako for you. Because I think it's every woman's dream to have a man who fears the Lord. There's nothing that in this world that you should fear except the fear of the Lord. Yes. And that, that fear of the Lord is, res, is a result of... Because you, you know, love God. Yeah, may relationship yeah, kayo, uh, yeah. And you know that you are submitting to his authority. Okay, that's why that's the fear of the Lord. But other than that, you should not be 
fearful because that's what God said. Do not you know what? Do not oh, fear. No, maganda yung sinabi mo, Ding Dong. No? Alam mo ba, Jessa? My wife is 16 years younger than me. Pero tatapin na tatapin. Talo tat- mo pa ako. <clears throat> <Ayaw> nga eh. <laughs> Go na. Hindi <laughs> ko naman sinasadya. 16. <laughs> oh. Pero pag tiniloko ako ni na JJ, takot ka naman kay JJ. Oo. <laughs> oh, oh. And yung, yung takot ko sa asawa ko is takot because mahal na mahal ko yung asawa ko. And ayoko siyang ma-disappoint sa akin. Yung, yung tipong ganun. Di ba? Kaya mer- naiintindihan ko na like, since ayoko rin kay Lord. Ganun din ako kay Lord nung nung nagpakatinuna ako sa buhay ko, doon ko naiintindihan yung the fear of the Lord. Kasi dati, hindi ko naiintindihan eh. Pero, yun ang, yun ang nakikita ko sa inyong dalawa ngayon. Like, while he was talking, I was looking at you, and it's so profound that you're really leading by wisdom and by example. Kasi may anak kayo eh. Anang-anak nyo, babae. So, Meron na kayong marriage. Hindi ko sorry, hindi ko maiwasan hindi itanong 'to eh. Ano nang ano na ang status ni Mami sa kanya noong mga panahon na 'yon nung, nung nung hanggang sa papuntang Amerika. Hindi ka ba naging kontrabida nung nagpunta kayo Amerika? Hindi sila ah paano ba 'to? Kasi kagugod shot mo pa lang siguro. Hindi. <laughs> Three years old si Jada so malamang kagugod shot mo pa lang ng mga Ewan ko, hindi ko alam kung kailan ko ba naramdaman na good shot ako sa <laughs> kay Mami. Ah, hindi, merong, merong ano, merong time naman. Na, hindi, sinabi niya sa akin, ako yung favorite niyang sanin. No, o, oh, di ba? Pero hindi ko na alam ngayon kung ganun pa rin. Pero, ano, I mean, ang laki ng transformation. Kasi sa nung una, talagang, uh, talagang feeling niya sa akin, uh, parang inagaw ko si Jessa yeah. sa kanila. So, you know, but I think I've proven to mommy even now no na ano na mahal ko yung anak niya right oh and dinala mo nga sa America I mean, sa isang sa isang uh, nanay siguro yung makita niya yung anak niya kahit ano pa man yun na mahal nung asawa at yes. di ba i think sa kanya may, mayroon siyang certain uh, ano doon uh, parang nakakapanatagan ng loob yes. na uh, medyo at least nasa mabuting kalagayan yung anak mo. Pero nakakatuwa, hindi nalang mo siya sa Amerika the first time. Okay, kung inisip ko, nilalagay ko lang yung, yung mindset ko kay mami na kunyari perspective niya. Okay, fine, pinatawad na kita, nag-propose ka, tsuba, lahat, ginawa mo na yon. Abang ngayon, dadalin mo ulit sa Amerika, imamigrate mo sa Amerika. What was that conversation like? First, nung naisip nyo, second, Nung kayo lang ni Jay Dagna sa Pilipinas, syempre, wala si Ding Dong, di ba? So, ngayon, anong conversation noon? Nung kayong tatlo na nagpaalam kayo na pupunta na kayo ng Amerika? Uh, si Mami, ewan eh, ko, oh, honey, kung tama yung ano ko noon. Pero si Mami kasi gusto, gusto niyang pumunta na dito. In fact, she's here. Oh, she yes, here. she's here. Because of you guys? No, no, no. Hindi, hindi. She, okay. she, ano, she, um, nauna ba siya sa atin? No, Dapat siya pala pinadcast ko yun. No? Oh, parang nauna pa ata si Mami sa amin. <laughs> Talaga? or halos sabay parang okay. ganun but i think at that point syempre mag-asawa na kami ni Jessa yeah. so with that decision decision na namin mag-asawa yes. na. so alam niya na kumbaga hindi na yun up to her or right. di ba uh, but i i don't think it was a big issue on i may be wrong ah, but i don't think it was a big issue on her part we, we decided that we would be um moving here Um, it was just something that we felt that we would be doing because maybe this is where God, we're just following what yeah. God, God is giving us. Kasi nga, Blind faith ma- guy. Mabigyan ka ng ganung opportunity. That's a blessing. Yes. Iba nga, diba? Nagpapaka, ano, makakuha lang ng papel, di ba? Yeah. Tapos kami, nabigyan. Mm. So, ginagamit lang namin yun. Yung sabi nga, the story of the hidden, yung mga talents, yeah. di ba? So, ginamit namin yun. And I I think right now because especially with what what's uh, with what's happening with Jada validation no yeah it it validates itself na yeah there was a purpose and it's being served out right now um, it's not still not the end of the story because the end of the story is uh, when God says it this is the end of the story and we wait for that 
kung kailan yung ano tayo we are in a journey and we constantly live and uh, try to um, honor God through the way we live our lives. Ay nakakatuwa sa inyo. You're a solid unit kayo tatlo. Like when when you had that show sa sa Noy Pits, I I had the privilege of being there. Tuntuwa ako doon. I would say hi to you and Jada na sa table kayo and all that. And I could see your family. I could see your magina really supportive. Hindi lang supportive eh. Talagang they were there in that moment for you. Ganun naman kami for each other. His success is my success. Yes. And and you know, alam kong ganun kayo pero gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na it overflows. Nakikita ng tao. Uh-huh. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates. Ang realtor na pato. Nakikita ng tao like ramdam ko eh. Kasi may mga iba na, na okay nandiyan yung asawa pero alam mo wala dun yung asawa. You, you know what I mean? You know you That's were there. That's sad. That's sad. Super sad. Di ba? Uh-huh. But you were there and you were Jess at Saragosa but you were there that night as uh, the performer's wife and your daughter was there as a performer's daughter and uh, what i saw was a family thank you tsaka ano eh bukod sa um inyo sa bukod sa support namin sa kanya bilang asawa bilang dad ni Jada iba pa yung support at respect namin sa kanya bilang artist oh ganun kami si Jada <laughs> Si Jada kahit bata, ako, pag meron siyang magandang ginawa sa um, sa talent niya, yung songwriting niya, talagang binibigyan ko siya, binibigyan ko sa kanya yung tamang credit. Right. Pinapaalala ko sa kanya kung gano'n siya ka-blessed na binigay sa kanya yan ng Panginoon para natatandaan niya. Kasi nagagamit niya ngayon dahil sa inyong dalawa. Yeah. Eh. yeah. Like siya, pag nagkakaroon siya ng magandang performances. Talagang sina- vocal. Sinasabi namin sa kanya yun. Uh, ako, hinahangahan ko talaga siya. Yes. Uh, bilang artist. At hindi lang bilang asawa. Galing. Ang galing. Ano kailangan mo? Uh, mamaya, <laughs> mamaya, <laughs> mamaya. <laughs> mamaya, mamaya. Censored na yun. Censored. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! So, nandito kayo sa States and sometimes sa Philippines kayo. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ano yan, no? it's that's now our life as in you shuttle back and forth like more than two times three times a year i, I would guess yeah, yeah. more it d- d- depends on where we're needed and if uh there are you know that's that's the thing eh, na, hindi namin alam na magiging ganito yung buhay namin and mind you it's not it's not easy hindi. kasi you know yung traveling lang yung change of yung sa time, time zone saka culture ibang culture sa philippines ibang ano dito Um, but it is what it is. So, you know, we have our lives there, we have our lives here, and we just appreciate it. Sometimes, yeah, it becomes hard, and sometimes we ask our questions. Kanyari, uh, ano ba itong ginagawa natin? Tama ba ito? Kasi, you know, di ba, meron kang ano doon sa Pilipinas, pero hindi, kasi like si Jada, nagsistart yung life niya, and alam namin, parang the opportunities are op- opening up for her, eh. So alam mang ano namin alam mang hayaan lang namin na ganun and uh, sa amin as as, as parents ba diba, gusto mong nandun siya sa part yes. na she can not only that she's going to be happy of course that's one but where we feel that she can ano maximize what God has given her that the kind of talent and while yes she is doing that in the Philippines now and she's getting recognized right. for it but There is far more that yeah. is there that not many people can see. Yes, I mean they see the potential, no? But feeling namin, di ma- mas ma appreciate yon ng mas malaki pang audience na hindi lang sa Philippines. Baka pag sa Philippines yon, pag initially nila bas mo sa Philippines yon, they might not get it. Eh. Correct. So si Jada kasi yung ano niya yung uh, minsan yung headspace niya as ikaw songwriter ka in your ano eh, malawak eh. Yeah. So, pag sa, sa Pinas, di ba, OPM, ganito. Actually, ano nga yan, kasi ang first language ni Jada is English. And when she started learning how to write her songs, which was at 
nung she, when she was 12 years old. Uh, puro English na sinusulat niya. But siya pa sa Pilipinas siya. Correct. So at, that, at some point, I had to tell her, sabi ko, alam mo na, uh, you have to learn how to write in Tagalog or something. But hindi ko siya pinilit. Sinabi yeah. lang namin. And then sabi niya, yeah, I know that, but you know, it will just come siguro naturally. And true enough, after a few years, uh, of course, she started writing at 12. I think when she was 17 or 18, that's when she wrote her first Tagalog song. 17 ba? Paano ko naging tayo? Ano yung title? Paano kong naging tayo? Ang ganda naman ng title na yun, oh, no? Yun ang first Tagalog song na sinulat niya. But you know, the first Tagalog song she recorded was the song that I wrote. Which, which is, was? Uh, sana tayo na. Pa- paano kong maging tayo? Tapos Duet ikaw? yun. Okay, yun ang yun yun una, sana na. tayo na, which was released in 2020. So, paano kong naging tayo was 2021. So, 12 siya nun. Nung una siyang sumulat ng kanta. Nine years after. Tsaka siya nagsulat ng Tagalog. Tagalog. Yeah. Binasa mo yung lyrics? Oh, Kasi Bina- tinulungan ko siya sumulat ng... So, in, pero hindi mo tinanong siya ng hugot nun? <laughs> ah, tinanong ko, syempre. <laughs> syempre. Yung mga daddy moves. Tata, oh. <laughs> Tatay ka eh. Saan mo pinahuhugot ito? Bakit Dapat ano? Dapat ata si Jada na yung sa susunod na podcast. <laughs> <Yung episode. laughs> Sabi ko, hindi pero kasi, nung 12 years old pa lang siya, pag narinig mo pa ako yung mga sinusulat niya, I mean, you're only 12. So, <laughs> ano yung inspiration mo niya? But, you know, it's because Jada loves to read. There you go. And, you know, she loves writing stories. She's an author. She wants to write nga a book eh. Ganun kalawak ang isip niyan. That's why yung, yung, ano niya, yung ideas niya when she was 12, the f- her first uh, song, na, yung most stream song niya, which was Happy For You, uh, if you check it out on Spotify. I will. She was 13. She was barely 13 years old when she wrote that song. And I remember that. Galing. That was Holy Week. And then when she was writing it, she got stuck kasi somewhere. Na, pero I was so interested in the chord progression that she was creating. Because Jada plays okay. instruments. Okay. Eh? Guitar and then piano. But then she says, Dad, I don't know how to uh, how to move from here. I'm, I'm stuck. No, sabi ko, there's something that I'm I can change it. Sabi ko, no, sabi ko, don't touch that. Because <laughs> that that note or that chord, sabi ko, that's hard to come by and you're gr- yeah. you're going that direction. So I go, no, we're, we're, I'm going to help you. Ang and naman. I remember that time, kasi Holy Week yun, so walang nangyayari. No? Nandun kami sa, nakahiga ako dun sa ano, minsan, nag-iisip ako. So iniisipan mo rin yan? Oo, tapos nakakatulog ako sa sabi niya, Dad! Sabi niya, <laughs> You're sleeping again. So I go, that's how I, that's my thought process. I gotta do that. Ayaw na ayaw niya yun kasi parang feeling niya, hindi yeah. ko siya pinapansin. That, uh, just let me be, sabi ko sa kanya. Tapos yung, ano, biglang magtatampo ng konti sa kanya. Pero alam naman niya na ganun. Masasabi ko sa kanya, promise ko sa'yo matatapos natin to by, Galing, no? by, ano, by um, end of the week. So right, holy week. Right. True enough, natapos namin. I mean, sometimes you get stuck. Di ba, Bears? Merong mga yeah. moments na ano bang gagawin natin. Pero once na natuloy, tuloy-tuloy, ang, ang ganda eh. Alam mo, ang laking impact nun sa bata, no? To have the dad be there. Because did, did it ever occur to you when when we are gone and that song is there in perpetuity, <laughs> your your daughter will always remember that moment that this song existed because of dad's help. I, I, you know, I, as a dad, uh, you know, And it's I'm, a nice, it's, it's a nice thought to think, no, na, na nakakontribute ka sa, ano ng anak mo, sa growth, sa development niya. And not everybody has that privilege with their dads. Alam mo yun? Oh, that's true. Was that a conscious effort on your part that I will be yeah. present in my daughter's life? Yeah. And, And Jessa knows this. You know, I was, um, in 2013, I I, uh, I, be- I became vice governor of our province in, in Secure. It was three years old. I did not run for re-election. What a lot of people was asking, bakit di mo na tinuloy? You, know? and you won naman, pop, you're popular. And then, the main reason for that, not, not pushing through na and putting my political career on hold, was because of the of what was going to transpire sa buhay ni, ng anak namin kay Jada. Sabi sa akin ni Jessa, ano siya, dad, 
huwag ka nang tumakbo. Dito ka nalang tulungan mo ako sa anak natin kasi papasok na siya sa ibang yugto ng buhay niya. And hindi ko magagawa to na mag-isa lang ako. So sabi niya, you have to be The there. more na kailangan kita ngayon. Of course. Kasi ito yung age. Yeah, Tapos, adolescence. Alam mo oh, na, alam uh-huh. mo na, industriya natin, papasok siya. Yeah. Kailangan kita dito. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I had, it's a choice. You, know, that you, you have to make that sacrifice. I, mean, I knew I, uh, I wanted to do something for my province, eventually for, for our country. Pero sabi ko, Take note, guys. Ha? Family, niyo. family comes first. In fact, that's what I feel that's missing in our country right now. Yes. The prioritizing family, the mm-hmm. values. I think yung family values natin sa bansa, hindi na nakakultivate uh, because of circumstances. But dapat ibalik natin yun. Na ang focus natin, the basic unit of society is the family. Yeah. Mom, dad. So pag yan hindi na incomplete, that's God's design. Design yes. ni God. So pagka violate mo yan, binago mo yan, you are violating God's design. That is destined to fail. Diba? Yan ang, ano, basic yan. And not many people see it from that perspective. Yeah. No? And, I, and I feel sad because and they don't know kasi the, the truth about God yeah. and, and His designs and His plans. So, sa akin, when that decision came na I had to prioritize my family. I love my country. I love my province. I love, I, I, you know, as much as maybe God gave me also that that gift of being able to serve, but my way of serving is strengthening my family first because I'm a dad first. Dang. I'm a I'm a husband, diba? Second or those are my priorities, and then I'm, a, I'm of course an artist. All of those things I have to put in in that order, diba? Of course, I'm a Christian first, but, it's, but I'm doing these things because I'm honoring His design. Yeah. Dapat yun ang maging una mo. And if you're putting priority over that, certain other things, di ba? Uh, then you're not doing, you're not pleasing God. You're not doing what He's designed. I'm not saying that you don't be a leader or, you know, you, you can be, pero lahat naman yan at a time. There's God's a pro- perfect oh, time yan. Timing oh, yan oh, eh. Alam mo yan, let's say, nasa, <coughs> ano na, secure na yung anak mo uh, on yun na yung career yeah. niya pwede na siyang she can fly and you, you, kahit, kahit wala ka na dun okay na siya and then you you know you can go ahead and you know do your or, thing do your thing yeah. diba? and that's how I viewed it but it was a choice talaga that I had to make and I have not regretted it because I so much enjoy seeing Jada grow now as an artist imagine mo yung she was able to write her Tagalog songs, and I was there for every part of that, the songs that she wrote, and nakita ko talaga yung, ano eh, yung ano niya as an artist. Pag napakinggan niya sa Spotify, yung music niya, yeah. the concept of the songs are all hers. I was just there as a, ano ako Consultant? Eh? Oh, no, ganun eh. Tapos, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd give certain things, and I'd, I'd add some, maybe lyrics, but the melodies, and what you the stories that's all Jada, and that just speaks so much of her authenticity as an artist yes. where she is. And a lot of not a lot of people don't realize what that means because not everybody is given that kind of uh, or gift, diba? Or um, binibigyan ng ganong opportunity as well. You know? And that's why we are here to help her realize that and help her maximize her potential. So, you know. Ikaw naman, hearing your husband speak, I'm sure you've heard it so many times. I, ako naman, I can't help but wonder how blessed you are because on one hand, here's your husband honoring God. On the other hand, here's your blessing, your daughter, the fruit of both your faithfulness to God naman. Anong pakiram, may times pa nag, nagugas ka ng pigan at o oh, may ginagawa kang chore na biglang napapatigil ka na iisip mo kung ano meron mo. Lagi. Naisip ko lagi kung gaano ko ka-blessed. <laughs> Tsaka ano eh, um, talagang sinasa puso ko yung responsibility na binigay sa akin ng Panginoon. Ginawa kitang ina. Ooh! Andito yung responsibility. So nire-respeto ko yun. Diba? So 
ginagawa ko lahat. Hindi lang. Ina. Oh, yeah. hindi pwede. Parang uh, nanay ka, ah, nanganak lang ako. Ganun. Yeah. Sorry, yan, yan. Hindi lang ganun eh. Sa akin. Yun, yun ang bilis ko. Which tama, ko. yeah. And yan, sila, meron silang ginagawa. Ako, nandito lang ako sa likod. Pero kung ano diba, kailangan nyo. Di ba nakikita mo mag-ama mo, di ba? Oo, nandito lang ako para supportahan kayo. Uh, kapag yung mga bagay na hindi nyo na nagagawa, nandito ako para sumalo. So, team player. Yes. So, I don't mind. I, I love taking care of my family. Sino sa inyo oh. disciplinarian? Uh, ako. Ako. I think, di ba? More of me. Sa discipline. Lit- litanya ba ang discipline? Hindi naman. May, may, di ba yung pagdidisiplina ko eh? Hindi, hindi. <laughs> Although, <laughs> ilang beses ko naman napalo si Jada. Parang dalawang beses pa lang sa buong buhay. I, I discipline Jada through, of course, uh, you know, the language, no? how to communicate. I have to communicate yung ano, kung ano yung ginawa niya, ano yung right. dapat niyang iwasan and all. Nung bata, yung may ano yung attitude adjuster. Pamalo. <laughs> Do you want oh. attitude adjuster? No. Sabi, Ako no. naman green spoon. <laughs> no. Pero ano, yeah, the disciplinarian is more of me. Mm. Um, but her mom, she knows, kasi si Jessa, siya yung temperature ng bahay eh. Pagka uh, iba na yung timpla ni Jess. Pero ganun. Parang naiiba yung household namin. Pag, ganun yun. Pero uh, ganun ang wife, yeah. ang thermometer ng yeah. bahay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I will agree with you 100%. Itingin kami ni Jada, what's, what's wrong? What's happening? <laughs> diba? Pag bad trip ang ilaw ng tahanan, pag kumukurap-kurap ang uh, ilaw ng tao, uh, oh, didilim. Pero kami ni Jada, yung relationship namin, kasi alam nga niya na ano, sobrang ano kami, nanay ako pero... Best friends kami. Mm. Oh, so she, yun. yeah. Because kahit, you have that liberty dahil yung tatay ang nagdidisiplina eh. Um, ano nagdidisiplina din naman oo. siya. Tsaka ako. Oh. Pero magkaiba kayo yung style. Oo, mm, diretso ko. Nagdidisiplina siya. Diretso ko makipag-usap sa kanya. Um, hindi ko, hindi ko siya na sugarcoat. Dinidiretso ko. Pero mas ano siya sa mami niya. Yeah, mas Shem- spoil. Ikaw, mas spoiled si Jada sa'yo, di ba? Di na mo. Sa akin ba? <laughs> sa'yo eh. Sa'yo mas spoiled. Pag nag-boyfriend? Si Buti, wala pa naman. Pero pag... <laughs> pag ano, Buti, wala pa. Pag ito na sagot eh. Good night, everybody. <laughs> pag nag-boyfriend, hindi na natin pag-usapan. Uh, thank you, thank you. Ha. Pero grabe, no? I have a seven-year-old daughter. Hindi ko ma-imagine eh. Pero kayo, you're at that age already. And then yung isang kaibigan natin sa labas, si Richie, habang nagluluto siya ng sebuchon kanina, sabi niya, Sebuchon? I know. Meron kanina sa labas. So sabi ni Richie, sorry Pax, na late ako kasi I had that daughter talk dahil ito sa boyfriend niya. May boyfriend na yung anak mo. <laughs> Yung taon na anak niya? 18 na. Ah, okay. But still, di ba? Parang, I know. Alam, parang feeling ko sa dad. Dreadful. Mm. <laughs> Sino mas dread, dreaded? Kaya ikaw ang dreaded o ikaw ang dreaded? Ikaw. Siyempre tatay, di ba? Dahil isipin mo. Isipin mo talaga. Inalagaan mo to, inaruga mo to, <laughs> tapos pupunta. Yun meron nga, di ba? Tapos, pag gusto mo naman na dapat tatuin siya ng tama. Di ba? Yung respeto. Yes. Di ba? And, yun ang ano ko, yun ang pumapasok sa mind ko na I I want her to experience the, the, to meet the right person na of course, God, what God will give her kung sino man yung tao na yun. Pero, gusto ko maging discerning si Jada. Kaya nga ako, I, I make it a point yung standard ng ano yung lalaking pipiliin niya. Tinataas ko eh. <laughs> Kasi, wag kang sabi you. ko, wag kang puro Thank you. pogi o puro ano, sabi ko, yeah, you know, syempre, alam natin yun. Medyo, may plus points yun. Yeah. Guwapo or uh, smooth talker, sabi ko. Pero, wag doon lang nagtatapos sabi ko tingnan mo ko ano yung values niya paano niya tinatrato same yung magulang yes, niya same, same belief, belief. yon tsaka ano yan alam niya pag may mga guys siya na mga crush niya uh, kinikritisize ko yung ba yan <laughs> mukha niya ano yeah, gano ko yan yung mga conversation ka you know ganyan sabi ko hindi ano ba yung mga taste mo sa lalaki parang hindi ko maintindihan sabi ko kaya gano ko pero ano lang yon parang lambing mo oh, hindi naman talaga sa, sa itsura, but more of what I keep telling her is be discerning and get to know the person. Bandang huli, yun ang 
yun ang maglalast eh. Yes. Kung yes. ano yung ano niyo. Kaya maging sabi ko, kaibiganin mo muna. Huwag ka munang bumigay or mag-fall. I mean, sometimes alam ko, it's because it's uh, parang human nature yan eh. You know, you get physically attracted first. But uh, never, always strike a balance between yeah. this and this. And of course, never forget God. This episode is brought to you by Binalot, Los Angeles. Ikaw ba ganun din? Or, hmm. ay, cute Ganun. siya. Or, oh. <laughs> pero, syempre, yung mga moms, ay, yung cute yun na nga. Yun na nga, yun pero, ko eh. Pero, lagi kong pinapaalala sa kanya, dapat talaga, anak, same belief kayo, values, kasi tinan mo, nak- uh, ganun ako makipag-usap sa kanya. Ang galing, no? Uh, tinan mo yung ibang, kunyari, magkaibigan. Pag, kunyari nga lang, sa politika nga yeah. lang, di ba? Merong mga... Mag-asawa, nag- naghihiwala. Eh, no. Di ba? Uh, uh, ang dila at ang ngipin magkasama. Pero mm, tinan mo, yeah. nagkaka, yep. nagkakagatan, di ba? So, mas maigi na same belief kayo para nandun yung harmony ng relationship. And we say to her na, whatever happens, never forget your core values. Because sabi ko, look at where society is right now. Um, we live in a fallen world. Yep. And in this fallen world, ang daming nangyayari na ano, because nga, maka, ano eh, makasalanan ng tao eh. Lahat naman tayo eh, makasalanan. So, you know where this is going, sabi ko. Ang compass natin, ang guide natin dyan, is the Bible. Para tayo hindi mapariwara. And that's where you should build yung foundation ng anong karakter mo. Kung yeah. ano yung nasa Biblia. Sabi ko, huwag kang lilihis dyan. Kahit anong mangyari, sabi ko, nasa mundo ka, ano, ano ka, uh, artist ka, and all these things. And, you know, we live in, in a world na napaka, napaka-liberal. Minsan, uh-huh. radical nga ang mundo ng showbiz. Pero sabi ko, it may be radical and all, but you can still uh, keep that core value. You know, you never compromise that. You, you, hindi naman kailangan, ano eh, lahat gagawin mo. You don't, you don't have to conform to the ways of the world. Yes. Just be the true the true artist that you are and i st- i still believe people gravitate to the truth if they feel that what you are speaking or what you are singing what you are saying is the truth they will come to you so sabi ko you just stick to that yun yung core values eh di ba so yun lagi kong ini-remind sa kanya wag mong kakalimutan yan even sa pagpili mo ng relationship wag mo i-compromise yung values mo dahil lang ma-please mo lang tong guy na to or something. Ako sinasabi ko yun sa kanya. Huwag mong huwag mong dadayain ang sarili mo. Don't draw or don't shortchange yourself yeah. eh, no? Kailangan ano, kapag like kunya pag meron ka nang nakita mo nang parang hindi ito yung tao na to. Pero baka kino-convince mo lang yung sarili mo. So, yung reality. Kailangan in touch ka rin. Did you experience that with Ding Dong? Nah. Did you have to convince yourself? Hindi. Ano talagang, eh, nakita ko na talaga. Oo. Pero may ngiti asawa mo. Yeah. <laughs> Sasabihin ko kay ano eh, sabi mo, wag mong isu-shortchange yung sarili mo. Kailangan naka-Bentley yung lalaki niya. <laughs> no? uh, Grabe. Oh, hindi pwede. <laughs> Ganito bank account niya. <laughs> Pero kayong dalawa, bakit isa lang? Good question. Um, kasi nga lagi kami nagtitravel. So? Tapos... No, but because had, she works eh. And mm-hmm. it's so hard na... Ayun ko. O, paano pag ngayon kayo na bless ng anak? Actually, I had a miscarriage mga three years ago. I am sorry for that. Four at the... Four, four, four years, years ago. ago. 2020. Uh, but, pero I want... I'm curious lang ako. So, four years ago, nagkaroon siya ng miscarriage. So, four years ago, may pinakita siya sa yung Surprise! Hindi. Hindi? Ganun. Ah, hindi. Ano ba nangyari? Ah, oo. Hindi ganun surprise. Yun yung unang na-pregnant siya. Yung okay. surprise. I have a surprise for you. Itong second time. Uh, okay. Ang usapan kasi namin nun, uh, sabi niya, oh, sige, pag hindi ka na magpupulitika, uh, sabi niya, sige, dito ka na, magbe-baby tayo. Sabihin ko na yan, ha? Sinabi mo sa akin yan, ha? Sabi mo, sige, sabi ko. Again, ang theme natin na revelation. Oo. So, okay. so magbe-baby. Um, ano, gawa tayong baby. Sabi, sige. Nung natapos na yung term ko, eto na, oh, so, anong baby na tayo? 
Andi eh, kasi ang dami, sabi ko, ang dami mo namang, <laughs> ang dami namang mga pasakali. Kasi naman itong asawa ko, pag pinag-uusapan yung baby, parang nag-order lang sa Jollibee. Ako gano'n dati. Parang, eh, oh. <laughs> sabi ko, gusto ko nang isang pang baby. So anyway, so, sabi niya, basta, basta puro lang siya, basta, yeah, basta, basta. Yeah. So, ako naman, sana naman, mabigyan, pabiyayaan kami. Eh, medyo, ano eh, mahigpit eh. <laughs> sabi niya, it's not your decision alone. Okay, tama din naman. It's, it's also my body. Sabi ko, I know. Kaya nga kaya, kaya kita kayo nakausap eh. Sabi ko ganyan. Eh, ang biggest concern kasi niya, she's getting older. Yeah. Eh, merong, pag sa babae, mahirap yan. So, I, I do understand. But, ako, if God allows it, then right now, we're not closing our doors to it eh. Pero, Pero yung, sa ngayon, cho- choice oh, talaga. Right. Oh. Para mas masubaybayan namin si Jada. Right. Hindi pong ganun. Pero Hindi, gusto ko malaman yung revelation itong hey, pangalawa. Yung, yung pangalawa, ang nangyari, de <laughs> ano, de, di siya, delayed siya, yun. delayed siya. Tagal na, sabi niya, ilang weeks na, that time, delayed na ako. Tapos biglang, finally, di sige magpa-test ka na, parang two weeks ka ng delay, di ba? Two, three weeks ba yun? Parang may end of the second week. Sabi ko, mag ano ka na, mag, uh, o third week na, o, parang mag one month na. So, nag-test siya. So, pag-test niya, positive. At doon ka nung nag-test? Oo. Oh, oh, pinakita niya sa akin. No? Okay. Ilang, ilang test niya? Teka, ah, hindi to COVID ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pregnancy, to, pregnancy, pregnancy test. No? So, positive. So, when, it, when that happens, siyempre, kailangan na yung magpunta sa doctor. So, siyempre, pero yung, mo, yung mo, moment na positive. Oh, siyempre, woo! <laughs> yes! Ganon siya, siya parang... Parang hindi siya, eh, ano, siyempre, eh, parang mixed kala, emotion siya. Positive, ang tanda ano ko, no? Positive. Tapos sabi niya, Hello? ano ang tangyari to? <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko, hindi ko. Revelation oh, pa. Oh, <laughs> so, anong tawag dito? <laughs> Di, siyempre, yun, ano kami, na, ah, basta ako, masayang-masaya ako nun. Eh, yung sa kanya, parang, ando siya sa mixed emotion. Naalala ko pa nga nun, di ba, nung nangyari yun. Tapos na-confirm, we had to, nung nag-check na ng ganun, pumunta kami sa doctor, and it was true, na-check nga, may, may heartbeat na, mm. di ba? Uh, that was the eighth week nung na-check. She was eight weeks pregnant at that time. And, uh, after that, nangyari, after, two weeks after that, bumalik kami. Yung nagulat na lang kami, wala, wala ng heartbeat. heartbeat. That was, that was devastating. Parang, alam mo yun yung biglang silence. Tsaka, Nung time na yun, kasi nire-ready na namin si Jada eh. Oh, magkakakabat. Kinausap at, na namin At siya, yung mindset mo, iniba mo na rin. Hmm. Sabi mo, magkakababy na kami. Okay, magkakaroon. We were already uh, doing our checklist. Tsaka nalaman namin na walang heartbeat. Yung oras ng check-up ko, dapat. Wow. Oh. Yung doctor, nakikita ko yung mukha niya eh. Um, um, parang... Uh, Mm. Hindi niya na alam ko pa paano sasabihin. So, finally, sinabi na nga niya na nawala na ng heartbeat si baby. So, parang na-shock din ako. Oo. Oh. Ah, ganun na lang yun. Hindi, tsaka... Sakit, no? It was, yeah, it, it was so... Uh, how, what was the feeling there? Parang, parang empty. Yeah. Tapos, ako kasi, na, siyempre nandun sila sa room, yung examina- examination room. Eh, hindi ko nga alam bakit ganun din. Eh, may butas din naman, naririnig ko yung sinasabi. So, akal, ba't nyo ko pinalabas din na maririnig ko din? So, naririnig ko yung sinabi na ganun. So, nandun ako sa labas. So, syempre mag-isa ako parang, bakit? Parang ganun yung feeling ko. So, syempre gusto ko rin, syempre gusto ko siya i-comfort. Yeah. Di, biglang bumukas yung pinto, tinawag ako. Nung pasok ko na, may na siya eh. So, syempre ako, like, sasabihin na sa akin, narinig ko na eh. Parang ako, ah, uh, Parang gusto mong sabi ano bang pwede kong gawin? May magagawa ba tayo dito? Diba? So in that moment, just so that our viewers can un- can can take a page or two from your playbook, what did you do to comfort your wife no mga moment na yun? Of course, I hugged her. And then she was, cre- she was crying. You know, and I knew what was needed kasi kailangan magpa... Mag- i- palinis siya, di ba? Hindi pwede magtagal. Raspa. O, oh, raspa. And... It was it was quick. It was it was all happening, but uh, part of me was, parang there's a, of course, there's yeah. a big, you yeah. know, something died. Mm. I mean, something really died. No, right. pero 
you know, questions started pouring in and uh, you know, I I said, yeah, Lord, but ganito, but at the end of the day you you just hang on to your faith and because you know, there's a, f- a higher purpose why these things have happened. That's not no one you can't blame anybody. There's no control over it. Yeah. Uh, it just happened. And sabi nila, talagang nangyayari, sabi ng doctor. Um, you just, you know, bow your head and uh, just hope that you'll just go through that. Because you really go through ano eh, a very sad moment. Uh, we're trying to be strong for one another. But that was a, it was a very, very um, traumatic time, especially for her. And that, I guess, that also contributed to why di mo na kami nag try na lang kasi yeah. parang nakakatakot what if nga talaga yung age niya right. delicate na yung pregnancy hindi na siya po pwede siya may impact yun ah sa babae ah traumatic yun kasi ha? parang ano uh, may ginawa ba akong mali yung pagdadaro sa sarili mo kaya yeah, namatay yung yeah. anak ko parang mm. ganun so basta yeah understandable now today your daughter is becoming a young woman. Eventually, she'll leave the nest. It's you. And you. Kayo na lang ang matitira. What is the future for the three of you now and the two of you later? How does it look like? Like, will you go into politics? Will you be the supportive wife? Will you go back to touring the world uh, and spreading your music? Lahat yan puro you know hypothetical it, yes. it's hard to to ano, to say exactly what because when the actual thing is happening but you know what's nice about you based on our conversation you're more of a pragmatist you're more of an optimist you're that kaya natin to ikaw yung teka muna magisip muna tayo ng ganto but yun ang nakikita ang ganda ng dynamics niyo eh because legal na kaya natin to sandali 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 may si pag-isip muna na pag-isip ako na yan hindi yeah well but it's 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 interesting that ito ang sinasabi mo ngayon after being so gangho ever since but what i'm saying is when you ask me anong gagawin namin and all of these things uh, there's so many ano eh, um variables at play yes uh and when you think about it uh there's no parang one specific okay if this happens, like Jada's gonna leave the nest, hindi ko pa maano yun eh. Like ako, hindi ko pa mafato oh, yung part na yun. Ayokong, <laughs> kailangan yun, tinatanong mo sa akin. So, syempre, isipin ko rin yun eh. Bago ako gumawa ng, ito yung sasagot ko dyan. Hindi. Um, parang, number one, ayoko muna isipin. <laughs> yun na nga, yun na sasabihin ko. <laughs> kaya hindi ko, kaya hindi ko sasagutin. Zip! Oh, oh. Number one, ay, yun yun eh, ayaw mong isipin. So pag ayaw mong isipin, <laughs> paano kay, paano ka gag- sa- lalagay ng sagot, di ba? So ang ano mo nun is, uh, we will cross the bridge when we get there, of course. Uh, and if that, that, that happens, uh, depending on the circumstance, if how Jada will, quote unquote, leave the nest, if, uh-huh. that, if that does happen. But right now, um, you know, I'm, I'm not even thinking about that because ang focus namin <laughs> is really more... Ayaw niya isipin. Oh, it's really more <clears throat> ano yung what, what is in the moment. And the moment right now is uh, this this life that we have. Yes. Putting Jada where she will have the best chance to to thrive and to succeed. You know? uh, both as a person and a, as, as a woman of God. So, yun... Ayun ang mga pwede kung that's where my head space is. But down the, you know, thinking down the line about all the... Scary, no? Uh, what if she leaves the last? What if dalawa na lang kayo? I, I don't know. I don't know the certain circumstances. So, like I said, so many variables. Ano to pag nangyari ito? Itong, itong magtitrigger, ito yung... Na, may hirap. Masisira ulo ko pag ginawa ko. <laughs> diba? Masisira ulo mo pag iniisip ko yun. Ba't ko iisipin? Sa dami nang iniisip na namin ngayon parang iisipin yes. ko pa I don't want to to ano to dwell on something like oh, that. basta lagi namin iniisip is uh basta na diyan lang kami para sa kanya to guide her every step of the way pati sa mga contracts, sa mga decisions niya. Hindi ano eh, nandito kami hindi para um 
Suportahan lang talaga siya. Yeah. I-guide lang siya. Hindi para controlling siya. Yeah. Oh, eh. Diba? In fact, Suportahan at i-guide lang yeah, talaga. You made a good point, honey. It's, yes. it's with Jada, you know, now that she's already of age, we tell her this is how it is. No sugar coating, the real thing. And then we let her decide. We will give our advice as parents, but ultimately it's her decision. And it's very important that you know, paano niya, yung thought process niya, how, how she comes, how she arrives at a decision. That's what the, I teach her about how you weigh things. Yes. You always pros try and to, cons, no? Yeah. The pros and cons and, you know, looking, there's two sides to the story. Never take the other side for granted because that's how you arrive at the best possible uh, solution or best possible, um, enough for you, decision. Diba? And with Jada, Ang, ano namin sa kanya, we're blessed with a daughter who has very high comprehension. She has empathy. She's, ano talaga, uh, ano siya eh, ma-research ma siya, matanong siya, marami siyang mga, ano, madali siyang paliwanagan. Right. And, galing, no? Ano sa akin yun, uh, as, a, as a dad, uh, reassured, reassuring. Tinuturo namin sa kanya ngayon, yun, kasi kala ko na-lose ko yung thought. Ang tinuturo namin sa kanya ngayon, yung mga things in life like, how do you handle your money? This is your money. Where you should invest your money? You should know that. Um, Tapos alam niya, kasi how we, ano si Jada, hindi ano si Jada sa money niya eh. I mean, hindi, hindi siya materialistic. Hindi siya materialistic eh. I mean, she, she'll buy something if she wants it. Para sa siya. work. Pero para sa work. Pero hindi siya nag-iisip ng, ano, misan nga siya para sa oh, mahal naman yan. Uh, which is good oh, which is good you know she's uh, very frugal like her mom um, but syempre occasionally she would buy a, a thing or two pero ang gusto talaga namin sa kanya na malaman niya yung mga ways of the world like yeah, ngayon sabi ko right. ka na matuto ka magmaneho kasi kung wala kami dito sabi ko kailan alamin mo yan uh, hindi ka pwedeng uh, parang clueless ka na ganun so a little things like that learn to ano your money how to how you keep your how to balance or how to pay bills diba those are things responsibility yun eh yeah that for her that she's starting her life she needs to prepare herself for that we want to prepare her and she needs to prepare herself for those in the event na wala na kami diba whether wala na kami physically or wala na kami because yeah. talaga bubukod na siya and diba yung mga ganong circumstance lagi kong ini-impress sa kanya yun. Oh, kasi yun talagang ano eh, uh, responsibility mo as parents. Right. Um, I-prepare yung anak mo kapag wala na kayo. Kasi kapag hindi mo siya tinuruan habang nandito pa kayo, mm. kawawa siya. Di ba? Paano, paano na siya? So, yun talaga. Habang lumalaki siya. Tsaka inaano namin sa kanya na people that you don't have to have so many friends, but look at the, friend, the, the friends that you, you can trust, that you can rely on, especially during tight or difficult moments. Yun yung mga sabi ko. You, you appreciate them. And sinasabi rin namin, kung sino rin yung alam namin na, of course, may mga ninong ka at mga ninang ka, pero sabi ko, tingnan mo doon, doon sa mga circle din na yun, sino rin yung talagang yes. genuine sa'yo. Yes that are genuinely looking out for your interest. Well, yeah, something happens. God forbid. May, may mang, wala kami bigla. Kailangan makasurvive ka at all cost. Huwag kang, huwag kang magpo-fold. Kailangan titindig ka. Diba? And alam, dapat alam mo lang lahat ng to. Yun, yun nung, for me, yun nga ang inaano ko sa, sa, in my mind eh. Lagi kung, pag, di ba nag-uusap tayo, paano na si Jada pag ano, yung, di ba, iniisip ko yun, sabi ko, oh, yung online banking ha, dapat alam mo to. Alam mo na mag-transfer ng pera. Sabi ko siya, kaya niya yan. Galing, no? Kaya niya yan. <laughs> Sino sa inyo warrior? Ikaw, no? Um, mas warrior de, siya. Mas warrior siya. Patay na. <laughs> mas warrior siya. <laughs> Oy, honey, mas warrior ka. Noon. Pero no. hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ako kasing worry wife. Although, yeah, I mean, as the head of the family, uh, yeah, I, I do worry. I was worse before. But now, I take away yung, yung needless worrying. I, okay. I used to be a worry wife. But then, 
I realized what Matthew was saying. Yeah. Book of Matthew. Do not worry. I think it was Matthew 6. Ba yun. Uh, that took a while for me. That was I was parang in bondage from worrying. Kasi nga, I'm, I'm this kind of guy na trying to analyze. Analytical. Tsaka ano kayo? Oh, uh, option one, option two, mm. option three. Di ba mga ganun? I still do that in the planning and all, but I submit to a higher being. Amen. I I humble myself before God because no matter what I do, if God doesn't want it, it's not going to happen. Okay, so why are you going to worry? Diba? Like, why am I going to worry? Because worry will not add a day, another day to my life. Sabi That's true. Sa Bible. So I don't worry about those little things. And I don't want to live my life in fear. Like, especially like with, with what happened with this pandemic, pandemic yeah. so, to, so to speak. Hindi kami, we, we tried to, we valued our freedoms, whatever we can master. We wanted to live free. And we wanted to live true. We don't want to live in fear and cower in fear. You know, others, they say, oh, no, we're just being careful. And all. Oh, there's a difference between being uh, dito? cautious and being fearful. Yeah. Mm. And overly fearful at that. Yes. And that robs you of your joy. That robs you of your freedom. And that robs you of the truth. Because that, the truth, God said talaga, you're, I, know, I, am, I have plans for you, not to harm you, but mm. to give you hope. Galing. Diba? And, sabi ko, if you don't live by that, sabi ko, and if you don't, if you don't believe in God, that's going to be hard because these things won't matter to you. Correct. But to us, that matters. And that's why God, I go back again, Paco, to He is faithful. And that was the reason why we have this show in Revelation. Alam mo, that's another thing altogether how this show came about. And si Henry, who, who uh, he's the producer in JR Foundation, is a true witness to that, how it, this show came to be. Uh, even the title of the show, alam mo, um, pagkwinento ko sa'yo na kung paano nangyari to, at a time na ang gulo-gulo ng mundo, na ang dami-daming mga naririnig mong mga, mga kaguluhan, yeah. division, yeah. so hatred was being sown. But then, A, a, revel- a show like this comes up in the idea of uh, revelation. Sa'yo dumating. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, yung nap- napapayag na si Henry nagsabi, yeah, let's do the show. You know, and... NTFC. Huh? NTFC. And TFC, TFC came into the picture. Kaling, no? That, that thing, TFC, that was like an added blessing na sila pa yung nag-reach out sa amin. Uh, the COO of TFC. And then sabi niya, we heard you planning a tour. So we want to be part of it. Can we be? And I said, of course, let's sit down on it. And you know, and then here we are. You know, and you know, it's and it doesn't end here because there's really a we want to mix. Of course, we want people to to enjoy the music because that's how we connected yes. with them to begin with. But there's something to be told in this in this show. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not just. Um, parang okay, hindi lang entertainment oh, hindi oh, lang like, ganon like for instance um, yung ginawa ko sa Noy Pits yeah. you know uh, doing it again yeah it was entertainment nakita mo no pero yung title ko nun kaya doing it again the statement was here we are we're ready to do it again it's time to yes. come out and do the live show diba? and we're doing it again in L- LA again kasi the last time I did the show in LA was before the pandemic hit It was also in Noy Pits. Oh. And that was kaya doing it again. And then, you know, I was able to do it. And I and I wanted to show people, hey, we can do it again. That's Very inspiring. Yeah. And you saw the people, you yeah. saw the energy. Oh my God, there. I was there. Diba, I, was, mo, I was immersive. Parang, di ba, namiss ng tao yes. yan eh. And at the same time, itong gusto namin gawin, may, may experience ng tao yon, yung connecting with people. But then hear that message of why a revelation what is there to reveal and and hopefully it will uplift them and make them less fearful of of their situation or of their lives diba? like right now like this this whole conversation we're having is very very inspiring like during the break remember i told you and and ang okay sa inyong dalawa without having to shove it down everybody's throat yung regurgitation ng blessing na nakukuha nyo kay Lord, ano eh, natatanggap na lang ng mga tao eh. and hopefully talaga 
like people listening, I hope kahit isang tao lang mahipo natin dito, we've done our job already dito sa episode na to and all that. What can you say with regard to women who, who are struggling dahil yung pilot nila medyo lumilihes. Yung asawa nila lumilihes. Pagdadasal mo talaga sa Panginoon yun eh. Ako, para sa akin, pag ganun, uh, hindi sa ano, hindi advice galing sa kapwa babae. <laughs> Lalo na yung na, nasa ibang sitwasyon, di ba? Because, ano eh, syempre may bias pag ganun eh. Yeah. So, talagang ano, parang sabi nila napaka too good to be true, pero prayers talaga eh. Mm-hmm. Kung sino syempre yung mas pinagkakatiwalaan mo at pinaniniwalaan mo, doon ka lalapit. Dapat. Diba? That's true. And syempre, hindi lang prayers. Kapag ganun, kailangan talaga mayroong communication. Kayong dalawa. Kayong dalawa lang dapat. Wala na ibang, <laughs> ano, miron. Yeah. Ikaw, ding dong, with regard naman to communication na sinabi ni Jessa, what is your advice for couples who've been together more than two decades or a decade and a half, depending on how you want to see it, na ngayon parang going with the flow na lang. Because ang tingin ko sa inyo, you guys are still hot tamales sa isa't isa eh. Parang ganun eh. Di ba? Hindi kayo, hindi yung oh, high fish bop na lang tayo. Ah. Hindi, hindi ganun eh. Oh. Di ba? Number one, <clears throat> that's the worst thing that you could do to your wife is a fist bump. Right? <laughs> There's so many things that you can do with with your wife right and then do a fist bump or no never always uh i know have that respect for each other retain that no no matter what sometimes uh the passion can can fizzle out like what they say since iba-ibang circumstance ng tao eh pero yung respeto that's something that everybody should have and when you say respect uh parang it cannot be ano eh you gotta respect me and you know you know respect in the truest sense of the what is really what is respect about where is it coming from and that respect comes from what the bible is saying of how you should respect the other person your wife in particular you follow those guidelines you'll be fine um of course it helps that you know i'm i mean i adore my wife I, really, I do and uh that's something that for me is a blessing every day she knows how to take care of me and Jada and I see that and I and I sh- tell her and I show to her how much I appreciate that to balance it off and I also and coming the and I say this saming dalawa we know to respect our space we we give each other that space I she has her moment I have my moment she wanted if she wants to do something or like ako, I, I like playing golf hindi niya ako go golf ka naman or something yeah <laughs> hindi hindi gusto siya gusto ko nga yun eh gusto ko <laughs> gusto ko gawin niya kung saan siya masaya pero nakaka-exercise pa pero hindi yun. ko alam kung dati ganun ka ba sa akin parang bigla na lang naging ganun sa dati parang hindi kasi dati naman yung mga golf mo as in buong araw yun na eh parang, ganun pa rin naman buong araw pa rin naman ngayon eh. hindi dati pumupunta ka pa sa out of yun town na. Oh, hindi, pero... Ang... Hindi, pero ay, naalala ko lang. Ah. Kami, pag nag-aaway kami, nagkaka-argument kami, um, ano eh, ah, ah, wala tuloy yung thought ko. Uh, ano, sige, ikaw muna. <laughs> wala yung thought ko. <laughs> Sabi mo sa akin, honey, ito ah, na, kasi ayaw niya yung mga ganitong podcast, podcast, kasi parang baka wala daw siya masasabi. Sabi ko kasi, nakahiya naman ang... kay Paco, baka wala naman akong makontribute. Ang dami mo nga nasabi. Yeah. Ay, hindi, yung pala, hindi, ay... yung pala yung sasabihin ko, pag nag-aaway kami, ang lagi namin basihan, ay di syempre, sasabihin niya ang point niya. Ako dun, meron dun akong sariling point, di ba? Pero, pupunta kami sa gitna, sasabihin ko sa kanya. So, ito bang ginagawa natin, eh, kalugod-lugod ba ito sa Panginoon? <laughs> <laughs> ay kapag gano'n na ayaw kasi sige na ay tama na diba? tama na <laughs> eh. mapalakpak sila <laughs> hindi, hindi dapat gano'n because ang pinag-uusapan nyo na yeah. yung ano nyo marriage nyo eh yes yes no pride in the picture eh no yeah alam mo 
you know, speaking of... Ako, Carlos, lagi ko siyang pinipili over my ego. Oo, sarap. You're blessed. <laughs> Totoo. I'm Kasi, blessed. ano eh, that's... Sa ah, akin, ne, pero sa akin, ba- that's, yan, that's stupid. Bagong development yan. Oh, so, yeah? Dati hindi yan. Pinipili niya muna yung ego niya bago ako. Hindi, pero alam mo kasi pag bata ka, iba eh. Yung maturity, yes. hindi pa. Di ba? 20 years old, siyempre, mas iba pa. Oh, pero na, na pag, uh, ano ko, na pag, uh, napagtanto mo. Uh, oh, napagtanto ko sa buhay. Ba, like example, I don't mind. Ako, unyara, nagkaroon kami yung problema. Sige, ako na una magsasorry. Bakit ko papapatagalin? Imahal ko naman to. Oo nga. Ano ba yun? Nag-arte-arte ka ba? Para saan? Di ba? Tapos masisira lahat ng plano nyo. Masisira yung yung relationship nyo. Masasayang yung bawat araw na hindi kayo nagpapansinan. Para saan yun? Ano, that rom- is stupid ro- romantic- for me. Amen. <laughs> when did Totoo that yun. happen? When did that change? I mean, <laughs> oh, para that, that, that realization, that moment, was it 2021? Basta 2020? siguro lalo na nung naging nanay na ako. <laughs> Ang galing, no? Oo. oo. Parang... Grow up. Hindi, hindi naging nanay ka? Talaga? Hmm. Parang 2,000. <laughs> Guys, marami po tayong revelation, yeah. ha? Grabe. Talaga, we are Parang, sticking to the theme na, of the, ko the episode. Narinig ko sa'yo yan, na ganyan ka na. Hindi. Parang kasi, pandemya, eh. Doon nangyari. O hindi. <laughs> Alam mo kasi ako, hindi talaga ako masalita na tao. Mas siya yun. Mas marami siya. Tamad ako magsalita. <laughs> talaga. Talaga. So, minsan, hindi ko lang, ano, hindi ko lang, uh, hindi lang ako vocal. Right. Pero yun. <laughs> no, I think I think it no, I was just joking sa bigkin during the pandemic but uh, even before that I already noticed there was really something that was transforming inside of her. Did you did you um, make it pansin or No, I'm yeah. sure natuto ako. Sometimes of course may mayroong times pa rin na uh, nakakalimot siya at uh, umalabas yung ano niya. Siyempre na tayo nagfo-fall yeah. diba? Pero yung ganyang attitude na nas nag-mellow down siya talaga and pinapakita niya talaga yung yung submit submission Ooh. it was i think the last maybe three years uh, yeah, and you're not taking was, it for granted oh no no in fact uh, i think that created more harmony with us we seem to we still argue but yeah it, there's a quick resolution to it eh. and then we decide kunya let's say Minsan, pagka alam mo mainit yung ulo niya, we back off a little. But then, and, and she understands, ngayon kasi yung dynamics ng relationship namin, when I believe firmly on something, and I know that, you know, this is something that will benefit us, I I put my foot down. And that's when she can see na, that, 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 that kasi I value what she says. Eh. Yes. I always make it a point to show to her that, what she's saying i value para hindi niya mafeel na tinitake ko siya for Correct. granted but at the at the at the end of the day i'm the guy i'm going to have to make a decision and you live yeah. by that decision and she will she will abide by that and she will show to me na okay i will i will submit and if it's not the right decision do you raise your hand in humility or yeah and you know we will live by it kaming dalawa and right. and, and and sometimes my my decision is based on her suggestion. I and Ganda. she knows that kasi hindi naman parating okay this is my opinion ako lang ang tama. Pero meron siya opinion she will explain that opinion but in the end at the end ako magdedesisyon. Do you understand yeah, the difference? Yeah, perfect, perfect. I have this belief, mm. she has that belief and we will exercise I mean, our right to express it. Yung, yung communication oh, part. But at the, there was there will be a time oh, ano na yung decision. So I will go I will have to say that na okay I it, it sometimes it turns out na I will have to it's in point ko will stay but sometimes oh may tama yung sinasabi niya eh, or may point yan So umabot na kami sa ganung punto And that's nice na, because as a family dire diretso kayo Now we eh. don't take it personally anymore mm. uh, and right now we are in that we're in a good place really Tama ba ako Tama ba ako Abali, baka mamaya mabatukan mo. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Pero ganun talaga. Um, ano, minsan, minsan na nakakatuwa. Confirmed. Minsan na nakakatuwa. Confirmed. Alam mo pa ako, hindi pa ako tapos minsan mag ano, naiisip ko, alam na niya kung ano sasabihin ko. Siyempre naman sa tagal. For, March 18, 21 years na. Happy anniversary. Oh, ano, yung, yung gamot mo or something. Yung ganun, bilang, 
Oo nga, no? But, alam niya na kagad, ganun. Na, sa, sa body language or something. Al- alam na, nagigets na niya kagad. And vice versa. Ako rin. I know when to step back. I know to, you know, when to give her that space. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jessa Saragossa and Mr. Ding Dong Avanzado. Yes, guys! Thank you. Thank you, sir.